Need to take a shot here quickly. How do I do it? G pose. There we go, man. There we go. Oh, <laughs> sorry. When we last left off in Final Fantasy, we were not doing G poses. I I haven't actually really spent much time on this. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing with it. I know there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. You can change the lighting color. I don't know what this is doing right now. Damn, that's sick. Oh, oh I see, I see, I see. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh yeah, just the way I like it. Okay. Just the way I like it. Yeah, I'm still in Thunderland, so that's why it shows that. Okay, okay. Cool. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to do this right now, but... I wanted to stop time weather. No, no, don't stop. Damn, it's beautiful with the rain, though. So how do you take a screenshot here, by the way? Like, how do you actually... Or... Oh, there we go. Okay. Good enough. That's sick, man. That's so cool. Jason Crow. Oh my god. He's dressed like uh, Cloud from Final Fantasy. What, what, what class is he? Is he a Lancer? Yeah, okay. Okay, so achievements. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What we got here is to the dungeons. Successfully complete five unique dungeons. Storyteller. 100 quests. Oh, we're on 98. Hello, Saf. That's a beautiful mount, man. That's... Uh, it's got a nice crown on. Serving a greater cause. All the more region to leave. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. I love it. Oh, is there such a thing? Is there a cloud outfit? Oh! I had no idea there was such a thing. Oh, okay. Cool. And then recommendations. Wow, this is a long list. So... Where the heart is, that's the goblet. I don't need to do that. Seeds of change. What is this? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Bloated bogey. Where are they? They're in the footfalls, Western Thunderland. Okay, and then these are fates, right? And then they suggest in those. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. There's a cloud squall and Zidane. Oh, dude, really? I want to squall one. That's sick. That's cool, man. Those are the crossovers we want to see. Who's this hiding back here? Hello? Okay, I'm just having a look around this place quickly because I haven't really looked. Last time I came here, it was dark and... What is that place? Oh, it's Lenosia. Must be Lenosia. No, no, don't go to Elport. Huh. It's nice. You always use that website for the hunting log? I don't need a website, it's fine. Damn, so wait, are all those outfits attain- Like, can I get them? <clears throat> or are they like, uh, I don't know, already gone? With a time, limited time. That's cool. Most of them are for subscribing bonuses. Oh, okay. Probably should finish the goblet quests. What, what, wait, what will that give me if I finish the goblet quest? There are goblet quests in each town, right? It's like the goblet quest that I saw last was... Uh, oh, wait. Where the heart... Oh, okay, okay, wait. I had to return it to her. Let me do it, let me do it. Hold on. I had to tell her it's a no-go. I had to tell her, nah. Oh, the goblet's the name of Uldar's house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I, th I thought that maybe there was... Uh, there is a quest for it, so I'm going to go there quickly and return it for her. No, 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 no. I mean, I, mm, I'm i talking about lots of things, yes. Wait, now I can use return. Ninja Toon. That is not RP friendly. Okay. I, w I wanted to hand this quest in quickly. I know it's, it's a kind of silly thing to do if I'm going to run all this way. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, but there's... Okay, wait, hold on. So in each major city, there's a goblet quest. It's not a goblet quest so much as a housing quest, but... Yes. There's a housing quest. Holy shit, is that a paladin? Oh my god! That shit is magnificent! What the hell? Look at that shield! Dude! This must be way, way in-game gear. Way in-game gear. Like, there's no way. That's just insane. That, that's gotta be like some special fancy shit that not everyone can get, right? Because there's just no way. That's so cool. Okay, let's go. Mist for Limsa housing and lavender beds for Gradania. But there are others as well, right? <clears throat> there are like two others or was it just one other one? There are there are others. I don't know what they're called, but God, I love the the lighting in the in the night maps. Like when it's nighttime, the lighting is just beautiful. Just if you look from here, like all the way over to the end there. Seeing these lights on the buildings and stuff, and seeing the, the lights in the distance. I'm glad that they render it at such a long distance that you can actually see it. Four, and soon one more. So, I'm assuming, I don't know, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm assuming that what's going to happen is they're going to release the new housing area, and it'll be sold out within five seconds, right? I, I assume that's the case. So, people like me, who are way behind, will never ever get a house. You return, tell me, what have you learned of the auctions? Eh? What do you mean it's reserved exclusively for adventurers? I mean, sure, times are tough and every nation is scrambling to attract formidable fighters. But what about my needs? What about my 40 acres and a chocobo? Bah, it's just not fair. Goblet Ethernet now unlocked. Residential district Ethernet for the goblet can be accessed through the Uldan Ethernet. Oh. I mean, that didn't really give anything other than that, but it's cool. Rin Evans. I like that name. Most probably? Definitely. Yes, most likely. Okay. Well, there you go. Shit. <laughs> shit. Well, shit. Hey, Doc Brinzeldis, there's a Kugain one as well. You live there. Awesome. Okay, we're running back. I, I kind of wasted some time there, but it's alright. Yeah, I could do with my mount, especially if I'm going to be prey returning to the waking sands quite often. Yeah. I'm probably going to have to uh, <clears throat> do that, this run, quite a lot. Why is there no teleporter closer, man? I guess that's why the meme is so uh, prominent. Is that the one with the ocean view? Uh, doesn't Limsa also have an ocean view? Oh, it's because they hate us? Okay. I mean, that should probably solve... That'll cut, like, I'm, I'm guessing, like, a good bunch of hours off the main quest line if they just put a teleporter right here. We're level 23 now. That's pretty sick. That's pretty good. I'm not sure what exactly we have to look forward to. I'm assuming mount. Plus, I think, was it 25 or was it 30? That I have a new class quest. You could buy one right next to your free company's house, but you never bothered. Wait, is there free space there? Because I haven't seen a single free space anywhere on the servers yet. Every single area that I've looked at has been completely full. Oh, we also unlocked Transmogric... Oh, well, no, let's call it what it is. We also unlocked Glamours and Dyes. There needs to be a limit. 18 million houses of furniture slash music would eat a lot of service base. Mostly for guilds, members can get room. Yeah. Did we? Yes, we did. Yeah. So it's like it's a thing here now. Glamour plate. I can make Glamour plates now. Yeah, you didn't used to until level 80. Yeah, I got dyes and I got glamour prisms. It's cool. 
It's cool. Okay. Let's do this. We have to speak with Thancred. If you hear banging and bashing, it's my daughter in the room behind me here. They're having a party in there or something. I don't know what's going on. Minfilia, what's up? I'm here to speak to this handsome fellow. How's it going, dude? Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery and a spate of abductions. Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like that any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack of the caravan, our friends at Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern have doubled security all over their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that the abduction should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone. That would be the fine place to start our search. A fellow by the name of Isambard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit, see what he gives us. Oh, see that he gives us his full cooperation. What are you gonna do? Okay. Housing isn't really impactful on the servers, as you'd think. Oh, I mean, sure, they could, but I think they want it to be uh, sought after. It makes sense. Yeah, people buy extra houses to profiteer or hold them for friends. Yeah, dude, exactly. Or free companies. Exactly, exactly. Speaking of, Helene said I should make a, a, a happy that free company, but um, I'm not going to bother with that right now. I will do it soon, but not right now. <clears throat> I don't know if she was considering trying the game out herself, but it would be cool if she did. So, that said. Drybone is... It's in Central, right? No, 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 wait, it's in... Is it in Northern? Oh shit, we haven't been here yet? Dude! It's in Eastern. Okay, we can teleport there. <laughs> Am I still playing the trial version Illumina? <laughs> Autocorrect. Yeah, I'm not on a trial version. I, I'm on the base game with the one month sub. Hey, whoa, what's up? If everyone has a house, it stops being prestigious. Yeah, I, I actually think it's fine. That'd be fine if they didn't tie gameplay stuff to houses. What did they tie to houses? Yeah, 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 I'm in the base game. Hey, Dr. Fox, what up, man? Good to see you. Oh, Northern area is level 45, so don't worry. Yeah, but I want to see it. Yes, Isambard. Dude, I love that it rains so often in the desert. This is great. Oh, we came to Drybone once. Yeah, yeah, we, we unlocked the leave meat here, and then we just kept going, I guess. Okay, let's speak to this guy. What's up? Tutusi? These names are beautiful, man. Lalafell names are the bomb. Hi, I'm Isambard. Here to search for the missing folk, I take it? Minfilla. Oh, it's Minfilia. Sent word that an adventurer fit in your description would be along. She also warned us to be wary of Amalja. It's Amalja, not Amalja. Amalja. It seems we know who the culprits are, at the very least. Now. I bear no official title in this camp, but the people here have come to look to me for leadership. You have my word that I'll do what I can to see uh, the victim safely returned. He reminds me of the guy from... The Witcher. Who's in the cave on the right-hand side of the map with the blonde girl with the short hair. He's got a name. He's got a name. I just don't know what it is. Glamour Dispeller. Oh, cool. I could check Northern and attune to the Aetherite if I want. Yeah, maybe. Uh, if it's close. Uh, it's not so close. The Invisible City. What? Thal's Respite, South Shroud. Man, these maps are wow. I love it. There's so much going on. You know exactly who I mean. Um, his name's Roach. His name's Roach. There you go. Let's get right to it then. Minfilia names the Amalja 
culprits in all of this. You would well to investigate them first. Much harm has been levied by these lands, uh, levies on these lands by Amaljar hands. The flames burn where they might, but their light cannot stay the darkness in all places at all times. There have been brutal murders of callers at the Church of Saint Adama. Hold on. Saint Adama Landama. Limsa Limosa. Limsosa? Shit. Roach is a horse. Rock. Ro 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 Roche. Ro Vernon. Vernon. Yes. What's, how do you say the surname? Whatever, man. <laughs> Roach is the horse. He had, he had a similar name. Okay. Uh, innocents wishing no more than to pay their respects to the dead. These poor souls deserve proper burial. I would see the deed. I would see to the deed before the mongrels catch their scent. But I know not if the Amal Jar still linger. Would you secure their remains, me friend? You'll find them on the eastern road. Twelve Wolin, you may be able to learn something about what the Amal Jar seek in this area. Roche? I suppose to, I suppose to Roche. Oh, Roche. Shit, that's so much easier. Roche. Roche. Nice. Yeah, I like that guy. And this guy just has the same kind of um, firmly set jaw. Doesn't remind me all that much of him, actually. But it's mostly the outfit and the firmly set jaw. All right. So, where we are going is where we are going. It's here on the road just to the south. That's not even very far. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, he wasn't very much in... Like, in Witcher 3, Roche was like... I mean, he had maybe an hour and a half to two hours worth of screen time, max. In such a big game, that's not so much. You know? I gotta say, this game also definitely outdoes WoW where Wither is concerned. It's like they don't hold back. It's not skimpy rain, it's not baby rain, this is proper rain. Oh, well, now it's stopping, but anyway. Hey, playing it hard. What up, what up, what up, what up? Hello, are you gonna come? Come on, come on. So, Amalja, what are they? Are they like dragon people? Or lizard people? Or, or something like that? But they don't have scales. So, they can't be that. They have tails that look like lizard or dragon tails. They're wearing what looks like a uh, saddle. They are lizard men. Oh. Okay. Listen. Hey. Rose Ava, what up? I apologize for messing your name up yesterday. Because <laughs> there was no capitalization in your Twitch name. So I, I sort of thought it was Roseva or something. But Rose Ava makes so much more sense. And it's a beautiful name. Hey. What up? Good day to you. I hope you had an awesome stream the other night. I feel like you're going to love sylphs. I do not know what those are. But I feel like I love most things that I see in this game, so... If that's in this game, I'm probably going to love it. I'm carrying three corpses at the same time. I'll drink to that. They don't even slow me down. Am I addicted to the game yet? I'd say so. Sufficiently, yes. How's it going, Gecko? It's going really well in this game for me. I would say I'm addicted because like I, I enjoy every stream that I that I do of this so so much I have been playing it every day and one would think that you might get bored of it, but damn man apparently not It just keeps on giving. Oh You don't mind uh, dude. It just makes so much more sense using your proper name, but hey nice to see you Rose Spoilers can't spoil me by saying something like sylphs I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I can guess. I can't guess. I probably can't guess. It's good to see you returned. Were you able to secure the remains of our fallen? Oh, what? Oh, shit. Ripe corpse. Ew, man. What? Okay, that's a very flowery picture of a ripe corpse. Take it, man. 
With the bodies given back to the proper earth, the soul will find their way across to the other side. You've done noble deed this day. I thank you. Now, what of the Amaljar? Did you see any? Surely such massive monstrosities as they cannot conceal their presence, much less take their quarry unawares. Ah, so they were there. I feared as much. Their part in the lowborn disappearing is all but confirmed, but I sense there's more to this than meets the eye. The occasional Amaljar raiding party would not account for people going missing in these kinds of numbers. The total is too great, and the question's too many. Would not surprise me in the least to learn of another hand in this. But who's? Countless geez, this guy should be a damn detective. Holy crap, he's giving me the rundown here. Countless travelers pass through Drybound every day. And even if I, uh, if it were among them, uh, how would we best discover who may be implicit in these vanishings? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I suspect you are going to tell me. Have I seen the awesome mount you got me? Oh, the awesome mount I got on Rose Ava stream? No, what mount? Hello? I, I'm. Are you asking what Rose? Am I playing or Mugendai? Did oh my god! Did you get me the camel giraffe one? I love that thing, man. The camel giraffe. I I saw the camel giraffe in your basement, Mugendai. Shit, in your basement zoo. Didn't I see it there? <laughs> if that's the one... That's the one you got me? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome! I can't wait till I can use it. That's amazing. Those things are hideous, but at the same time, pretty much the cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay. What say we turn an eye? To the common folk themselves, it may be among them that we find reasons for these vanishings. Twelve forbid it be so. There's a merchant by the name of Ungust, who was born here in Drybone and grew up in the Golden Bazaar. A rough character, but he knows the people here better than anyone else. I'd wager he's at the inn, quaffing away the day's earnings. Here, I'll write you a note to show him, else he's not like to speak to you. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, so I'm playing, uh, I'm playing the cat lady. I, I don't know what uh, that's called. Miko Mikote? Mikote. I'm playing a cat lady at the moment. I'm not like to stick with her for like the entirety of the game. I think that I will most likely switch it up when I get a chance to switch it up. But I don't know what I'd switch it up to. I'm not sure. I, I like, I just really don't know. Huh. This is quaint. Hello. And this guy's dressed. Oh shit, it's him. <laughs> That's him! Well, gods be damned, you're that bloody adventurer who threatened me back in Ulda. What in the seven hells do you want with me now? You old shit, what's up? I'm back. Hello? Dear friend, Belch. Missing people, please help. Hook. Yours. Isambot. Wow, is that it? Folk around here are as weary as they, <laughs> weary as they come. They'll turn tail and run if you so much as pass wind nearby. Played them all for fools and coaxed some hard labor out of them I did. If anything, they're even more timid than before. What with all the disappearances. You can go talk to him if you don't believe me. This guy is such a, man, he's such a sleazeball, scumbag, slime, bucket. I don't know about that, man. You started as a bunny girl? Yeah, I didn't have all the expansions and stuff installed, so I didn't even get to see what the bunny girls, the dragon people, or the dog people looked like. I do regret that. I do regret that. I want to try Aura out. So I will basically, when they give me, apparently I get a, a, a race change or whatever at level 50. So when they give me a free one and I buy the expansions, then I'll then I'll try the other races out. Then I'll probably check it out. Is it called a Fantasia? Okay, man. That's pretty cool. Be like every other dude who plays female character and start a cat girl, then switch to dragon girl from Hearnswood, then bunny girl from Shadowbringers. What? <laughs> Is that what all the males do? Maybe I'll go against the grain. I don't know, man. Maybe for the first time ever, I will make a male character as well because... Oh my god, look how smooth this dude looks. Dude, he actually looks really good. Why you gotta run away, man? I was inspecting you. Heckin' investigation happening here and he goes and leaves. 
You could gift me the expansions. Don't worry about it, man. It's all good. I just didn't know I was going to be so into Final Fantasy. That's the only reason I didn't buy them. So, I, I appreciate the gesture greatly. But um, it's all good, man. You only have one to buy now? Really? So, you're not... Hey, John Law, what's up? You don't know the MMORPG world much, but what makes this game more enjoyable compared to others? Well, I'll give you... I'll, 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 let me just do this step of the quest, then I'll tell you what I think. Please, just leave me be. What? That didn't go very well. Oh, shit. Like I said, I'll just finish this step quickly, and then I'll tell you why I like this one. Compared to the others. I have nothing to say but this. Thal take whoever or whatever has been feeding uh, off us low folk. Maybe they're using them as batteries to power some hideous contraption or other. Maybe they are taking them and stealing their very life essence to use that life essence to make more Amalj R. Holy shit. Maybe they are rounding them up, hooking them up to machines, making them suffer, and then extracting from them the... What What was that movie that did that? Where they extract... <laughs> <laughs> when they when they got like this rush of adrenaline, they extracted something from their blood. I'm, I'm guessing it's none of those things. I should stop guessing. These are terrible guesses. What do you want from me? I don't know anything. I swear. Please don't kill me. No, these guys don't want to talk to me, man. Holy crap. That didn't work. Uh, that guy in the bar is going to have to give me a little more than he gave me. Oh, Shadowbringers includes both the other expansions? Oh, well then it's no problem, man. Ungus, that was shit. Just as I told you, wasn't it? The whole lot of them are terrified. There's been talk of folk getting abducted, but if you ask me, they simply up and move to a better place. This place isn't exactly Costa del Sol, if you know what I'm saying. I do know what you're saying. Is he just leaving? Jesus. I mean, he was a little rude with me, but I'm actually surprised he spoke to me at all, because I beat the shit out of his dudes. Anyway, so... I will tell you why I have been enjoying this thoroughly, John Delaw, and anyone else that's wondering. So... I've played a lot of MMOs, like most, uh, not most, I've played a lot of MMOs. I've played World of Warcraft, I've played Guild Wars, I've played Elder Scrolls Online, i played a lot of older ones obviously before that, but what I really like about this game so far is that, and, and, and obviously it's not come to a head completely yet, but like they do focus on story quite uh, greatly in this, and I love that. I love the fact that you've got a story that, that rivals, and many people will tell you even exceeds or surpasses uh, a proper single player game uh, whereas in World of Warcraft or something like that you don't really get the story quite as much it's there but it's sort of loosely given to you and it doesn't really mean quite as much just because it is as loosely given and it's sort of a lot more tied to the world and the world building and stuff like that whereas in this it's a much more personal story where the story itself just feels more complete all the way through. On top of that, my favorite part of this entire game is that you never ever have to make another character if you don't want to. Uh, you you can play every single class on the same character. So uh, unlike in WoW, where in WoW you have to, and this is really stupid, you have to create a brand new character, new race, new class, new whatever, and level that up from scratch. In this, all you do is you switch the weapon. So I've got Pugilist and Gladiator, Pugilist at level 16, and um, if I save my gear here, uh, if I save it there, then I can basically just go here, equip set, and hey, what do you know? I'm a Pugilist. Look at my abilities, see? They're not the same anymore. And the, the way you switch back is, is just as simple. You want to switch back to your Gladiator, you just click that one and you're back on Gladiator. It levels you up back to your gladiator's level and you're just good to go. You can do everything on the same damn character and that is the sickest thing. It's the sickest thing. And and that includes obviously crafting professions, all the classes, all the different roles, everything. And I mean, I guess I can keep going on. Things like the Final Fantasy world, it's always been quite appealing to me. Final Fantasy and their stories and everything happening in Final Fantasy has always been great because I've enjoyed the Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy uh, 7, 8 and 10 are, are three of my favorite from the season, uh, from the series. I love them so, so much. And, and this just gives you more of what those games gave you back then. It is a good system. I agree, Rose. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. Wow, story is nothing. It's just all the big moments and everything else sucks. It's true, right? 
where, where, where like the rest of it's like a bunch of footnotes and then suddenly they're like, Ooh, ah, here's the villain. Here's the big boss. You got to slay it in the raid now. Death cinematic. That's the story over. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. You like the Guild Wars 2 jump in puzzles? I'm sure they'll put stuff like that in here at some point, or is there already stuff like that in here? World of Warcraft started incorporating stuff like jump in puzzles. And I mean, much like any other MMOs, it's about the end game for most people. Not for me, I like the journey just as much as I like the end. But, uh, there's the end game. There's the housing, which I just checked out recently that I just can't get enough of. I, I think it's the coolest thing ever. I hope one day I'll be able to afford a house. <laughs> But yeah, but yeah. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. And I could I could talk for hours about about all the cool stuff that they've done in this game. Welcome back. Have you learned Ought of Import? Wow. Wow. Ought of Import. I see. I suppose I should have expected as much from Ungrist. Well, another thought occurred to me in your absence. The common folk are nothing if not fervent in their religious beliefs. Perhaps they speak freely to their gods. Then the clergy may know something of use. And, and what I've actually enjoyed about the, what I've actually enjoyed about the story in this is that they sort of, they sort of wind things up and then there's like a big uh, climax and, and, uh, and a big reveal and a big, well, moment in the story. And they don't just stop there. Then they wind up some more and it keeps on going and they wind up some more and they just, basically they never stop with the, with the intrigue, with the excitement, with the actual adventure that you're on. They never stop. It's awesome. It just keeps going. This person's leaning while looking at me. Are you... <sighs> You're beautiful, man. Is that a dragon, dude? You're beautiful. Okay. This mod would like to learn what you can from the clergy. Okay. If we know what the common folk speak to their gods, we've no better place than to ask about the church of St. Adama Landama. It's a small and humble church found northwest of here. As long as you're headed there, I might ask you to deliver this embalmed corpse. A morbid request, I grant you, but it must be born to burial... And I trust none more than you to see it done. Seek out the man named Marquis. He tends the graves in the lich yard. He will let you know where the body is to be interned. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. It's not so much about the price of the houses. It's about finding a free space for one. Exactly. Rose. Teraxa. That's exactly it. I'm a little saddened by that because I want to. I'd really love to one day get a house. But I, I feel like it might be a, a, a rough thing to do. We'll see. Small story later suggestion for later. I suggest you do all the side content at 50, endgame, etc. Cool. Yeah. Does that include dungeons and raids and stuff? Some of the optional content is uh, from ARR. Becomes relevant in Shadowbringers. Oh, of course. Speaking of multi-class, you had a question about this. Can you borrow from multiple classes at the same time? No, so they are completely uh, isolated in, in that one class is its own thing. They are... They, they are uh, s certain abilities and skills that are on, on different classes at the same time. That are like, uh, instead of being class-wide, they roll-wide or they uh, or they like uh, group-wide or whatever you want to call it. But for the most part, they are their own thing. I, if I remember correctly, yeah, they, as Traxa said, they used to allow skills um, from multiple classes. But now they just have roll skills. This is nice. I like this. What up, dude? I brought a corpse. I am Marky, yes. A body, of course, of course. There have been so many bodies of late. I apologize, miss, if you seek a place for burial. There is an empty grave atop the ridge. Take the path and lay him to rest there. Shit up here. This is not a very nice place to bury someone. Oh, unless it is a nice place to bury someone. Oh my god, that's the nicest place. Who the hell? This random person? Gets this beautiful spot? Bury me here when I die. Oh jeez. What? Oh, I need to bury him now? Okay, god, I thought I was going to leave him there. What? <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Switching roles while dungeon slash raiding a thing in this game. 
Or is it disabled during combat? Disabled during combat, but you can, I guess you can between pulls and stuff. So say for instance, you're doing a raid boss and uh, you you realizing that this class of yours is not working so well because maybe you want a ranged DPS instead of a melee DPS, then you can switch and, and start using the other one if you'd like, but not mid-combat. So there's no possible difference between two characters of the same class. Are there, no, no, there is. There, well, you could have different races that. You could have different races that give you different bonuses, and stuff like that. But they'll be very small. May they all walk in Thal's realm. What? What? Missing people? I, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Oh, he knows more than he's letting on. But maybe sister. Oh, maybe. Okay, maybe he's telling me something. Osin can. She's been kind to me. Everyone. Everyone's been so kind. I don't know why. I thought... I pa Hold on. I don't know why, though. I... Pardon me. You'll find the sister within the church walls. Sorry, that's my daughter. She's protesting something or other. With her mother, obviously. Oh, shit. There are so many of them. Although, this looks pretty grim in here. Dude, is that a bottle? There's a wine bottle lying in the church. I hear you've done us a service by burying a fallen soul. Please accept our gratitude and extend it to Eisenbard when you next see him. Hmm? You seek knowledge of missing drybone inhabitants? It's true. I'm closer to the people than anyone of the order. I, uh, I confide in them and they in me. When they wish to speak to their keeper, Thal, I'm a medium through which they do. Should I learn anything pertinent, I'll be sure to share the information with you. I only wish Marquis would be more helpful in the matter. I pray he did not, uh, what? He did nothing to offend. He saw terrible things during the calamity. His scars run deep indeed. He seems to now prefer the company of the dead over the living. While tragic, I fear such behavior ill befits the church. I received word not too long ago that one of our recent visitors, a man called Thancred, I believe, took offense at his conduct. Oh shit, what was he doing here? Huh... Oh, maybe he was just investigating. I guess he might have just been investigating. Oh, these are quests. No, no, no. I save these. Oh, on that note, there's nothing like a talent tree in this game, is there? Or... or or do you just like, does it all rely on like your rotation and your choice of skills and stuff? Because I actually didn't really look into that at all. There's no skill tree. You unlock the skills by leveling. Oh, so there's no like talents either or anything like that? Huh. There's a talent tree for chocobos. Okay, well, that's all we really need, right? <laughs> oh, okay. So that's cool that they're all identical at, like, max level or whatever. It just means that you... It comes down to how you play. Yeah. That's fine. Add your gear. Thank you, Lumen. A burial's no easy thing. Uh, even when the departed is a stranger. Were you able to learn aught of the missing common folk? You've been keeping yourself rather busy. Haven't you, Lumen? Oh, it's Thancred. Hello, man. I knew you were here. A pleasure, my dear Eisenbard. The name Thancred. The name is Thancred, and I share passion with you and our mutual friend here for learning what has become of these missing persons and why. Why is he interjecting here? Man, I had this under control. I, too, spoke with Ungust uh, more times than I can count. There seems to be some truth to the notion of the common folk uh, speaking their secrets only to the service of their gods. Prostration, prayer, penance, abject deeds done behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. Who better to take the pious unawares than she who takes confession? Good sister, Orson herself. Orson? She, she wouldn't, she couldn't. Even the most beautiful roses have thorns, my friend. And you would be wise to keep an eye on this rose. Still, Lich Keeper Marquis, I swear to the twelve, I've seen that face elsewhere before. 
It's gonna be a while since uh, till I get an upgrade, isn't it? I'm just not finding upgrades. Wait, what? Did he just disappear? What? Thankred? Hello? Is he gonna be here again when I talk? Sister Arson? Cannot be, though she is one to travel to the Golden Bazaar on her own. And it's not uncommon to see her speaking to the children, but no. It couldn't be she. She, could it? Hm. I grow weary of these suspicions. I know there is one child in particular that she is fond of. Pray seek out the boy, Lumen. And see if you cannot glean something from him about Orson's activities. Where is he at? Where is that boy at? At the Golden Bazaar? Sick, man. I wanted to travel a little bit, so here we go. Some classes get very complex, but Paladin is one of the more straightforward classes. Okay. My level 15 gear is so amazing. Dude, it looks so sick, right? I feel like there's no way to go from here but down. Like, I'm not gonna get better looking gear than this anytime soon. Unfortunately. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, I mean this both, like, visually and in terms of stats. That's what the Mog Station's for. Cash for outfits. I haven't even visited the Mog Station yet. I should really go and check it out. Melcia, you want instant gratification? I did have, like, some minor complaints about the start of the game, saying that they should really throw you into the thick of it and give you a little bit more to go with. Uh, from the start, right from the get-go, uh, but I think that they will probably be addressing that in their new player patch that's coming out at some point next month or this month or when it, middle of June or something, I think someone said. I don't know. He looks terrified, dude. Please. Help. Sister Orson went out all on her own and hasn't come back. She always reads to me right here. About Thal and the Order. And the other side. I told her I lost my shiny thing. And she went looking for it. What if the monsters outside hurt her? Please, find her. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> hey, Kretzel. Wolfrey, what up? It was scheduled for mid-June, but because of COVID, it'll probably be delay delayed by a month or so. Well, I'm glad I started now. Oh my god, there she is. Wait. Who's got her trap? Probably the Amal Jar. Oh my god. Rotten Mage, Rotten Pikeman. Rotten. Are they undead? They don't look undead. These two go-to goes are cute. You, you are the one from the church. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. It seems my gratitude is yours yet again. I don't think she's actually the one doing bad things. She's falsely accused here. You spoke to the child? Yes. Yes, well, I was able to find his lost trinket. It's a ring given to him by his mother before she passed. I will see it safely back to him. And she just leaves. She's the one we suspect, man. Oh, shit, what's going on up there? Oh, is that the fate? Dude! We better help. Quickly, level sync. 
Beep, 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 beep. Do this. Come on, I want to tank this shit. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, hey, hey. Leave these men and women alone. Do not worry, soldiers. I am here. <laughs> okay, I did. Bro, oh, I'm excited for Ifrit. I've now heard of Ifrit from uh, from the Scions. Is there anyone else here helping me? I feel like I'm alone. If it's a level 20 quest, oh my god, really? <clears throat> I feel like I might be too high level. Hey, Dr. Fox, man. Thank you so much. Enjoy Neo too, man. I'll see you around. Thanks for dropping in. I appreciate it. Wait, where are these guys? There they are. There they are. Yeah, I have no idea, obviously, what to expect from Ifrit or any of the mount stuff or any of that. I'm just, I'm just playing, man. I'll get there when I get there. Do dungeons give good experience? Apparently too good, because I'm way high level, man. <laughs> yeah, I think they give really good experience. I think it's possible to level by just doing dungeons. Easily. Oh, yeah, for a tank or healer, yes, because as a DPS, the queues are just too long. Yeah, yeah. So, as a DPS, it's fine doing the story-based dungeons. Uh, like going through the story doing the dungeons for the story stuff like that It's fine because you you don't have that many to do But if you're gonna be chain queue in dungeons, you can't do it so much as a DPS because it'll take too long Yes, it's so, sorry at the bottom of the screen you can see my level it's down here It's very small. I'm level 23 years Almost level 24. That's the bar right there that isn't 50. That's actually true. Shit, man. Nice. <clears throat> that was quick maths. It's not even half of 50. It's less than half of 50. I'll double you up with the maths there. We're getting there, though. Small glad cat. I made the smallest possible cat. I don't know why, but I always pick the small... When, the when there's a height slider, I always pick the lowest one. And usually I pick the smallest boobs too. I think I made my character very flat chested. As a new player to Ifrit, uh, you should manually form a party. First of people you know who are in there for the first time. Because the first time cutscene lasts a long while. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I will. Thank you. That's actually a really good thing to say because I wouldn't have thought of that. What the hell is that? Is that a mechanic? Did I need to find that? Wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, he's gone. Shit. Dude, that was a really cool looking mount. Hey, we need to kill these guys. What up? Meotragus Billy? Meotragus Nanny. Wait, is a is it a Billy Goat and a Nanny Goat? Is that what they're called? I had no idea. He's played the game for days. Is it a grindy Mac grind game? No, it's not a grindy Mac grind game. I mean it's sort of an MMO. That was a Magitek armor. Magitek armor mount. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I'm also on my second class. So I leveled a... What was it called? A pugilist up to level... Did I finish this now? 
I leveled the Pugilist up to level uh, 16, then I switched over to Gladiator. Larger boobs are used for helping. Put your weight behind your swing. Smart man. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Oh, shame. Don't make that sound. I need one more of these billy goats. Let's see if I can find one clear. I, I think I need one more of these billy goats. Yeah, one more billy goat. Where you at? Billy goat? Hello? I think they're probably this way. There, there, there. I see him. On yonder hilltop, my friends, lies our quarry. Indeed. You shall perish, foul bovine. I actually don't know if this is considered a bovine. It looks like a bull to me. Anyway. Wait, what? Do the mounts all have their own musical themes? What? <laughs> that is ridiculous and I love it. What the hell? Actually ridiculous, man. No, not all of them, but a lot do. Okay, okay. Still, actually ridiculous. I think that's great. So, you know what I will say that they could do here to sort of make things a little more interesting? For, for players who want to run around and explore a little bit and just have a nice time, uh, I leveled, yeah. Is, is they could hide some treasure, man. Why didn't they put a little treasure chest in this damn cubby here? Or like here in the river or whatever. They could just hide little collectibles around that you can find. I realized that you guys said that in the later game they do stuff like that by default, like automatically or whatever. But it, it, it would be so much more fun if you could actually have a reason to look around and pay attention to your surroundings. I look around and pay attention because I like the way the stuff looks here. There are treasure maps. Whew. Okay, shoo. <laughs> Trials of Mana overdid it though. Yes, Trials of Mana did overdo it. But there's a there's a happy middle ground. There's literal treasure hunting. Oh, hunting log and then later. Sightseeing log. Okay, yeah, see that I would like. That I would like. Sister Ocean was attacked outside the Golden Bazaar. Gods forfend. What is that even? What is forfend? I love it, dude. I'm gonna learn so many new words in this game. I will secure a room at the inn for her, should she require any rest. Searching for the mentors of orphans and risking her own well-being for the doing, no less. Certainly not the dastardly deeds Thanker would have us believe. True, 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 true. I'm well glad that I reserved the room for Sister Orson. It seems uh, she received greater injuries from her attackers than she initially let on. Thankfully, she is expected to make a full recovery. But now on to the matter at hand. Thancred came looking for you once more. He left word that he'll be waiting at the Amaljar encampment to the southeast. I pray you two are able to uncover some evidence regarding those disappearances. Okay, cool. There we go. <clears throat> challenge log two. Yeah, of course. Wait, challenge log? I unlocked, but I never really looked at it. I didn't really spend much. It's like achievements, but also challenges. I need to accommodate player fate, leave quest, crafting. Oh, but there's not some. There's treasure hunt, I see. Huh. And gold saucer. What is Eureka? Ah, I don't even want to know. There's so much stuff. Forfend is forbid? Really? Cool. You see, I'm learning a lot of new words. They weekly? Oh, of course, right. When? Uh, which day does the weeklies reset on? Like, I forgot. Someone told me. I think it might be... Is it on Thursdays? No, that's wrong, right? Don't die from fall damage if you're out of combat. You don't die from fall damage if you're out of combat. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. That's for the best. We're going the wrong way. It's this way. Tuesdays. Okay. Well, that's the same as every other MMO then. Good. All right. That makes it simple.
Also, hey, Delta, I didn't thank you yesterday for following the channel. I saw you were the most recent follower. Thanks, man. It's like 8 a.m. for Tuesday on you. Oh, oh, for you. So that's like, then it's just afternoon. It's like perfect time for me. It's just before my, my afternoon or evening stream on, on, uh, on Tuesday. Yeah. Cool, man. That's an awesome time. Click a chocobo keep, but the chocobo keeps seem to take you to preset locations. Oh shit, I almost attacked this guy. <laughs> He's level 50. That would have been bad. It unlocks it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'll do it when I come back. Okay, yeah, the portal. It unlocks it. Right, right, right. Okay, because I didn't want to use it, but unlocking it is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Here he is. Ah. There you are, Lumen. So good of you to come. Indeed. I've heard a little about Sister Orson. Orson. His mom said her wounds were serious, but it seemed my suspicions about the poor Rose were misplaced. Hmm. But false though they were, Past my suspicions were not entirely without merit. Whilst following Sister Arson near the Golden Bazaar, a band of Amaljar caught my eye. Tracked them as far as this encampment, but, well, let's just say, I would much prefer to keep my distance and remain here. This, of course, brings me to why I requested you, dear Lumen. Would you be so kind as to take a look inside? Is he not a fighter? Does he not do battle? <laughs> hey, Seth. They become relatively outdated when you have a chocobo. Yeah. And teleporting is much faster anyway. <clears throat> this still looks so much like that zone in Final Fantasy XV. I don't know what the relevance of these big spikes and things are, but it looks kind of cool. Tancred is a superb battler. Why doesn't he battle then? Why did he want me to look inside? Is he busy training me or what? I'll, I'll click on the chocobo thing soon, man. I'll go back there and click on it. <clears throat> I love chocobos. I'd like them to feel needed, yes. Oh, Thancred needs to make a stylish entrance. Gotcha, gotcha. Dude, that bow is like double the size of my character. I love it. Craft in Seth? Nice man. I imagine leveling your craft in alongside your main character would be pretty beneficial because you would obviously be able to if you live depends on what you level in, of course. But you'd be able to make yourself nice gear. Imagine if you were a Lala Fell, then you'd be able to stack six of yourself on top of each other and still be smaller than the bow. Dude, I'm still strongly considering playing Lala Fell. If I look at the character customization of Aura and I don't like it, I feel like I'll be in a bit of a bind, man. I feel like it's either then staying cat girl, which I don't mind, I like the cats, but either staying cat girl or going Lalafell and, and like oof man. You know? Oof. Okay. Queer leaflet. I can show that to him right now. I don't need to look any further here. Okay. So I know this is probably a stupid question, but what is that icon there? Is Does that mean that they're going to aggro when I run past them? <laughs> I don't mean it. I don't mind being a cat girl. Lumen 2020. Yeah, I said it. I usually like the small weird races in MMOs, but Lollafell creep me out. They creep you out, but Asura don't. Dude, Asura are so much more creepy. Oh, the red triangle means they'll aggro. Okay. Red is aggro, teal is passive. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool. 
That guy just spawned on top of me. Asura are fine. God, my character in Guild Wars 2 is the creepiest person you'll ever see. Creep creepiest character you'll ever see. And I like them. Dude, I love it. I love it. My character looks great. Like, I went for maximum creep factor and it's... Oof. But I couldn't do that with Lala Fell. Not really. Well, did anything tickle your fancy? Ah, well, the Amal Jar's bows. And this, this leaflet. See the wealth of Nell become... I uh, see the wealth of Nell to the hands of your children. Looks like it's some sort of assembly to provide poor with work. Letrian, though. Atrocious, is it not? And these bits about Nell Thal seem somewhat less than studied. I find it hard to believe... Oh my god, someone is, is luring them in with false promises, then capturing them. Pray, take us to the inn at Camp Drybone. Let's see what Sister Orson makes of it. Okay. Pray, take this to the inn. I feel like it's him that's gonna say, Pray, return to the Waken Sands. Yep, he's gonna be the one saying it. I can't leave these poor people. They need my help. They need my help. You have three Lalafell, two Mikote, and one of each aura here Elizin, Viera, and Rugadin. That's a lot of characters, Saber. Damn. Lala Fell just dolls. Child dolls. Yeah. I mean, I I guess I would have liked it if they had a bit more definition in their body. If they were like small people and not small dolls. I guess I would have liked that. But like at the same time, there is an appeal. I think they would probably look pretty cool in uh, in, in like full plate. Lala Fell would look cool in full plate. Yeah, uh, the game doesn't have much of a requirement. It runs quite well on even like proper potato PCs. I know that. I'm running it maxed out completely, and I think I, I barely ever see my FPS drop below max 144. If you make them look like Vivi, they're okay. Uh, with the little hat and everything, I agree. Dude, Lala tanks are cute, man. I like it. Like Papa Sean, you guys know Papa Sean, he's great. Papa Sean's great. Rose Ava, they are cute. Yeah, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Let's not smack talk them too hard, okay? Get this one. Your Lola tank doesn't wear plate. She wears Mog Station Princess Dress. <laughs> a Mog Station Princess Dress. Wait, so do you tank in a Princess Dress? Can you do that? That's beautiful. That's just great. That's great. Say no more. I'm sold. I I hate to, to say this, but like I would have actually kind of liked it if I could look at the Mog Station stuff in here. It's a glamour. Okay, I'm confused about one thing. I don't know where I got this idea. Maybe it's because I got the idea from Guild Wars 2 where they have town clothes. But I thought that they were... Outfits and stuff that you couldn't fight in in Final Fantasy. Is that a fact? Are the outfits that you that you like That you can equip and you can use visually, but they don't actually work in combat No, oh they all then the glams can all just be used on 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 the regular like you you would The scariest and prettiest tank indeed Wait wasn't she here? Oh, she's over there. Okay. Let's click on the Chocobo Keep as well. Shame. I want him to feel appreciated. Look at this guy enjoying the rain. Oh my god, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That was Lillian the other day when it rained here. Okay, they're actually specifically meant for glamour. I'm so glad that they did that because the Guild Wars system is so confusing where you have to... Where you have... Uh, and you have to switch to the town clothing. Kind of stupid. I want a mask like this one day, man. Well met, Traveler. Might I interest you in a Chocobo Porter? Ah, don't tell me. This is your first visit to the stop. I shall update my register with your name. Thank you. Beautiful. Why is it the Lala Fell that work with the Chocobos? Oh, 
Oh, a lot of the female tanks come across. Uh, follow the more skin. The more skin is more defense mentality. Yeah, I, g I get that. I get that. I swear to God. I am lost. I think that I... Ah, here we go. Here we go. It's in here. Gotcha. Hello? There she is. That's not her. That's Lambertient. That's her. Oh, she's got a lot of... And he's here. Thancred's here too. A lot of visitors, man. What's going on? Ulda is La La Land? Really? But... Okay. I thought they were Limsa. I thought Limsa was their place. I actually just don't know. I don't know. Should start in Rue Land or Giraffe Land if you wanted to see the other races. I don't. Lala Fella, great. Uh, my savior comes again. To what do I the honor this day? I brought you this leaf leaflet. I don't know why Thancred couldn't bring it. What is this? Blasphemous. These are not our Titians at all. This was not made by any true brother or sister of the order. Of that, I can assure you. Come to think of it, weeks ago, the church was plagued by missing garments. Oh my god, someone's pretending. Could someone be post posing as a priest of the order to deceive people? Thancred, this is devious nonsense. Let's get to the bottom of it. The plot thickens, Lumen. Our culprit pretends to be a priest to lend credence to his deception. There's no doubt. An irony in there somewhere. But I suspect we have a worthy adversary on our hands. I shall continue best, uh, consider how best to handle this. For now, tell Eisenbard what we have learned here. I watched him leave. Almost snapped my neck while doing so. Limsa is C. Rugadins plus Mikute. Really? There's Dunes folk, Lala, in Ulda, and Plains folk in Limsa. Oh. Oh, they, they're more Rugadin. Big burly sailors in Limsa. Gotcha, gotcha. Sultana is Lala. True, she is. Uh, the Grand Sultana. I can be bothered to type out that complicated crap. Reduce Silver, because people are passionate about the lore and the world. That's why they type it out. Posing as a priest to think. These troubling notions aside, it's gratifying to finally be able to move this investigation forward. Thank you once again, Lumen. I shall keep my ears and eyes open. Now more than ever. Give me the... Oh shit, is that an upgrade? You've got to be kidding me. Finally. Or maybe it's a side grade, I'm not sure. What does my helmet even look like right now? Should we check? Oh, <laughs> that's terrible! Oh no! Okay, turn it off. You can even show your... You can turn your weapon off as well. That's kind of cool. Spent over 3,000 hours in this game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I didn't know you played that much. Holy crap. I wonder if I've even spent 3,000 hours gaming in my... I mean, I have, yes. <laughs> Maybe... Oh my god, what is that? Stop! Come back! Are those legs? Or are those nipples? Okay, either way, that's kind of disturbing. Oh, shit. You should never have to ask that question in your life. And it's gone. Just as it appeared in our lives, it is gone. In an instant. Wow. You love all the, all the helmets have room for cat ears, though. I think it's super impressive. Dat Muffle Duffle, what up? I like your nickname. It flows. It's great. Flying Moogles, I think. Was a really big fat Moogle or what? Is that my character? On the lodestone? Cool, you guys looked me up. Dude, nice. Nice. Okay, Eisenbard, let's check what this guy wants. Ooh, cutscene. I'm afraid I've not seen any unusual activity, nor any at this camp giving me doubt, uh, cause to doubt them. But unless we can identify the culprit soon, more innocents will fall victim. Oh my god, he always just strolls in. Not despaired just yet, my friend. An idea occurs to me. Our suspect has been posting, posing as a priest, using leaflets, bearing false promises to lure the poor. Let Lumen and me serve like with, uh, like with like by posing as impoverished souls in need of succor. Ah. 
I dare to hope that this will yield us some answers. Uh, it would be a dangerous undertaking, but you two are more than capable of looking after yourselves. I'm next to useless in battle, but I can supply the garments for the disguise. These old tunics and slops should serve your needs. As long as you don't mind the smell and the stains. They will serve very well. You have my thanks. Listen, Lumen. So as to lay out a foundation for our little ploy, we must make it widely known that more vagrants have arrived in camp and are desperate for coin. To this end, I want you to don the old garments Eisenbart has lent us and beg for work around the camp. Before long, the false priest should catch wind and approach us. Holy shit. This is going to be fun. Fat Moogle Mountains and Bog Station purchase. Terra Birth? Something like that? Oh, okay. The game has a lot of silly looking mounts. Yeah, you don't have to tell me that. Holy crap, you're right. I, I saw that that weird little white thing with the creepy smile. Good god. That was like that was actually insane. Wait, how do I speak with the locals while garbed in withered uh, shepherd's tunic and a pair of withered shepherd slops? How do I do that? Okay. Okay, are they gonna? Th <laughs> they're gonna think I'm, uh, dude. Really? <laughs> I wonder if this is gonna work. I. I okay. They're obviously just going to ignore my sword and shield and my uh, plate boots and gloves and everything. <laughs> definitely not a tank. No, no, no. No, I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely a poor soul looking for work. Checks out, man. There's a bed mount. You saving up for the ridiculous cactus mount? <laughs> Rose, that sounds great. I like the cactars. They're cute. You can hide your weapons when she... I can hide them here, yes. Uh, here. There you go. Looks kind of better. I preach the teachings of Aze Azema, the Warden. Hast thou come to partake of the honey of her wisdom? Same as the Keeper of the Sun, Goddess of Inquiry, all is laid bare beneath the light of her divine countenance. Open thy heart to this light, needy child, and thou shalt want for naught till the end of days. That's not me begging for work. I need to, I need to beg properly. Someone in here, maybe. Here, yeah, this guy. It's a girl. This girl. Greetings. Is there aught I might assist you with? Oh, I, I don't believe there is. I'm afraid our wares are very expensive. Mayhap you should rejoin your fellows. Out at the pond, north of Sandgate. Wait, what? What about you over here? Wait, was there another one here somewhere? There's another one in here. I think there's another one in here. What the hell was that? Did I accidentally click on something? I think I might have clicked on something accidentally. Oh shit, it's Seth. Hey man. What's that? Oh, was it you popping that thing up? Sorry man, I'm busy deceiving people. That was a trade request? Hmm? And you are? Ugh, oh, another refugee by the looks of you. The immortal flames have neither work nor coin for the like of you. Be gone! Don't make a nuisance of yourself. Shit, man. Where are all these people in here? I think he was trying to inspect me. Because I'm so beautiful. That must be it. Oh, you have something for me. Oh, okay. Maybe you, just, maybe you want to give me something. That's fine, too. Now it's about to get to the good part. Looking for work, you say. Sorry, but we don't have any openings. Now get out of here so I can finish my story. One more to speak to. Safleur? What level are you now, man? Level 30. Look at you. Iron scale mail. Did you craft this, man? Wait, did you craft this? I can't equip it right now. Let me finish the quest and I'll check it out. Hold on. I have one more person to speak to. I think they might be up at the top. You made that! Dude, thank you so much. It means so much more considering you actually made it. I love it, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check it out in just a moment. They're not up at the top. They must be down near then. Okay, wait, 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 wait. There they are. There they are. What is it? 
God's not again. Look, being poor doesn't give you the right to pester whomever you like. Why don't you keep with your own kind out by that muddy pond of yours, Drybone? Okay, that's where I have to go then. I've got to go to the muddy pond. Don't they see me talking to this guy the whole time? Oh, okay. He made you dragoon armor. What a nice friend. Wait, what? Is it not real? Uh, is it not armor for me? Thancred. Why are you... Oh, here he is. You have quite the knack for being a nuisance, Lumen. The camp is a buzz with talk of newly arrived vagrants. And though we were able to, unable to attract our wayward transgressor, we were able to learn that the poor have a commune by the pond north of Sandgate. To the east of here. The eyes of the authorities do not reach that place. Rather ideal for spiriting away hapless souls. Let's go there. Wait for the kindly priest to come and offer us aid. Okay. Remain in disguise, he says. Floor tank armor. <laughs> God, I love that they call it a floor tank. I love it, dude. I don't know why, but that shit just makes me happy. I can wear it. Whoa! Dude, that shit's awesome. Hold on. Look at the bulky shoulders. Oh. Dude, if that doesn't spark happiness and joy in your life, then I don't know what will. I love the, the, the high neck as well. That's beautiful, man. That's so nice. Holy crap. I should do some crafting so I can make stuff like this too. Wait, I have to put this on for my RP session quickly. I'll check, I'll check it out with my full uh, gear in just a moment, okay? Check it out soon. Dude, that's really nice. That's good looking armor for such low level stuff. What a nice friend. Yeah. Hey, I was at this pond. There was no one here. Huh? <laughs> Dude, there's no way Thangrid passes as a, uh, as a poor person. Ah! Doesn't even help me, man. Passes. Thancred is a poor person. I mean, clearly. He pulls off the deception quite well. A fine evening for catching a false priest, wouldn't you say? You look absolutely smashing, Lumen. Positively dressed for deception. All that's left then is to wait for our quarry to appear. We still look too well off. Here we go. Oh, you poor unfortunate souls. This is no way for men to live. No way at all. Who are you? What do you want? He should have turned around and said, Ha! We've got you now. Be at ease, child. I mean you no harm. I'm a priest of the Order of Neltal. Come to offer you succor. It's him! Dude, it's him! I see your face under there. It's Sleazeball. It's Slime ba Bucket? Slime Bag? I can't remember what I called him. It's that guy from the bar. This leaflet bears the teachings of Nald. Trust them, and they will surely set you free from the shackles of penury. Hmm. A tempting offer, but I'm afraid I must decline. On account of that atrocious performance, you would have made a god's awful mama. Ungust. I knew it. I saw that goatee. What? How did you know? You bastards tricked me. Please don't hurt me. I was only doing it to protect my people. Is that so? Do continue. V v very well. I'm a man of the Golden Bazaar, raised there, if not born. Some moons ago, the Amaljar raids began. They would appear suddenly as a sandstorm, plunder and pillage at will. Our defenders couldn't stand against them, few as they were. Everyone lived in fear. I wanted to save my people, but being a merchant was all I knew. So I did the only thing a merchant could. I approached the Amaljar in hopes of brokering a deal. In return for sparing the Golden Bazaar, they made demands. Outrageous ones. 
demands. What kind, pray tell? First of all, they wanted a schedule for the crystal shipments from the Nanawa mines. For this, I bribed one of the workers to leak me the information. Next, they wanted me to bring them people. So I posed as a priest to allure the vulnerable and give them over to the Amal Jar. I, I didn't have a choice. Protecting one's home is a noble thing, but at the cost of innocence? You could have sought the aid of the immortal flames, yet you did not. I suspect you are not telling me the full story. What made you sell out your own people? Speak! The mumble was good. What did you say? The coin was good, I said. I could sell mole meat for a score of lifetimes and not see even a fraction of what the Amal Jar pay me. You sacrifice innocence so you could line your own pockets. <sighs> Shit, this guy. Words failed to... Dude, so I thought for a second there. For a second there, I thought, okay, okay, he's protecting his people. But then, turns out he's actually a, a scum bucket, like I said. God, man, words fail to express the contempt I feel for you. Spare me your contempt. I'm behind him. We can set up a backstab like this. If this was Urtuk, this guy would be in trouble right now. If you want to blame someone for the mess the world's in, then blame yourselves or the gods. Nah. Ooh-wah! Not you again! Were you the one leaking the Immortal Flames patrol routes to the enemy? Well, spit it out. No! I know nothing about that, I swear. At this stage, I'm rather disinclined to believe. Ought that leaves your mouth. But no matter. That'll There'll be time enough to learn the truth. Sob. Ha ha ha! Shit. Take him away. No MD and take word of these developments to Minfilia, would you? Say the words. Say the words. Isn't he going to tell me pray return to the wake in sands? I shall prize everything I can out of this filth. The Abertiers are still somewhere out there. Our foremost priority is to rescue them. Okay, we did it. We did it. Good shit. Someday you need to grind the Eureka stuff to upgrade it so you can dye it. Been back on the Eureka grind this month. So much prep, so many NMs. What's an NM? Cool, so we finished up here. And now we get to go back. Halatali? Is that a mine? Okay, we're gonna pray return to the Waking Sands. Notorious monsters. Basically a boss fate. Oh, okay. They don't say it as often as the memes imply, but you do end up going back there a lot. Oh yeah, let's put armor on. <laughs> that is actually so nice. So... I can't swap it here, but uh, this chest piece is so much nicer than the one I had. I like this. Like a lot. I like this. But for some reason, the shoulders on this one just look so much nicer from the back here. Thank you so much, Seth. I like it. It's awesome. Let's put the shield back on quickly. And here we are. Oh yeah, we gotta run back to the Waking Sands. The ears look ridiculous. At the end game during the patch cycle, they have special weapons called relics. Got from from a realm reborn, Heaven's Word, SB, uh, Shadowbringers, right? Uh, this patch started the Shadowbringers relic stuff. Oh, okay, okay. You get it like at the end game. Don't throw it away. Oh, Stormblood and Shadowbringers is SHB. Okay. Oh, they made two expansions with SB. Huh. They're bad, I guess. That one looks like something Batman would wear. <coughs> Hell yes. It's Blizzard Hots all over again. Pretty much. That's not this fate. Oh my god, is it Bernie again? I think it's Bernie. It's Bubbly Bernie. I'm not going to do that. 
Yeah, here is the storm. Is a big pippy hands, man. I'm so sad. You got something else for me. How are you so good at crafting already, man? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Is that a wolf? I wish I could see the the mount names. I can barely make out the mount. There's too much of a glow. What is this guy? Oh, it's a ninja. This guy's looking at me. Hello? I'll look at you too. Nice. Fierce. Hello, Tataru. What a cutie. Oh, 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 Jinxies. Look at this guy. He looks almost exactly like me. He called himself Adric Dawn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I like this. I like this. There you go. There's some inspiration for my future character. She looks cool. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that twice. I don't like this so much. I didn't 100% Trials of Mana? True. True. <laughs> hey, Artful, what's up? Shit, I think we did well enough. Minfilia, hello, are you gonna be voiced? Welcome back, Lumen. I'm pleased that you and Thancred have been getting along. I see. You've done well to uncover the truth. My thanks for the report. As Thancred says, we must ascertain where the abducted were taken. And none but the Amalja know the answer. Suffice it to say, they will not willingly part this information. I fear blood will be spilled before all of this is said and done. Oh, now I'm not going to get an upgrade for like a year. I just got a new chest piece here. I'm never going to be able to use any of the gear I wear if, if, if people give me gear. Oh, but that looks kind of shitty, so I don't really care. Though we seek peaceful solution to the primal problem, we must needs... We must needs be ready to fight for our cause. The what now? Needs be ready? Um. <clears throat> okay. That you might take to the field suitably prepared, I would have you meet with a goblin acquaintance of mine. His name is Mutamix Bubbly Pots. <laughs> He's a scholar of no small repute. Mutamix is known for having introduced a revolutionary method of enhancing equipment in Eorzea. Uh, the knowledge of his method was once a closely guarded secret, but thanks to Mutamix and his students, it's now been decimated to the great benefit of the realm. Dis emanated, not decimated. <laughs> God. It will serve you well to acquire an understanding of the process. For this purpose, I shall lend you a blade. Take it to Mutamix and bid him use it to demonstrate his craft to you. Mutamix to be found in a camp in central Thailand, known, known as the Bonfire. Uh, look for a pillar of smoke and the way will become clear. The blade, you say. Ah, materia, finally. Disseminated? Got it. Thank you. You enjoy this English? I enjoy it too, but it's a little crazy sometimes. It's just the reading is, is hard for me, man. I, I really suck at reading. You can take a plus quest for that Halatali dungeon after completing this main story quest. Doesn't the main story quest take us there? You want her outfit, Estroy? It's a nice outfit. Level 80 today? Oh, yeah. Probably, because we're playing again tonight. What are you? Oh my god! What? But Thank you! This one looks even sicker! Are you a dancer? Okay. What, what is this shit, dude? What are you giving me? You spoil me so! I can't use it yet. Okay, okay. It's 25. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I don't wanna- I don't wanna try it on. I'm saving the big reveal for when I hit 25. That looks insane, man. Look at all those slots. Tin can. Heavy iron armor. Crafted gear? Yeah, it's crafted gear. There are dungeons that are level locked. Uh, Halatali is a side dungeon, not part of the main story. Oh, I'll definitely do it then. Okay. Thanks, Saf. Thank you, man. What is this? 
Is this want to be a fisherman? Oh! Hello, Halatali. Yeah, here it is. Oh, shit. Nedric of the Science of the Seventh Dawn has some useful information he wishes to share. Hail the adventurer. I'm Nedric Ironheart, an explorer by trade and a scion by allegiance. And you, my friend, look to me an adventurer in need of a challenge. I happen to know just the place that will offer it to you. Tucked away in the corner of Eastern Thailand lies Halatali. And it is there that you will find all the excitement you crave. The place boasts a storied history. It was built for some hundred years past as a trading ground for gladiators. Oh, cool. Calamity laid it to ruin, though, as it did with most things. Now Halatali is a shadow of its former self, but the dark shadows... Uh, but the dark of that shadow uh, look wild beasts, both bloodthirsty and beyond count. For one such as yourself, I dare say there's no finer place than Halatali to test your skill and refine your technique. Indeed, I've taken the liberty of passing your name along to the flames who oversee the place. Should you visit, speak to them near the entryway. That's cool, man. Old English is difficult to read, yeah. But it's fun, it's it's satisfying when you get it right. That is actually insane. What a cool looking mount this guy, man. Holy crap. He looks kind of scary, man. He would break me. And he would say, I will break you just before he breaks me as well. Kind of great. Okay, so we can do Halatali now. I want to do that. But I'm going to go to Central Thunderland first and go to the bonfire over there. That Samurai starter gear. It looks exactly like it was obviously inspired by uh, Highlander. Hey, Mugandai, you only need five more kilograms till you reach your goal. Dude, you're owning. You're owning. And I think that the most important thing probably is not that you're finally reaching your goal. It's more so that you've managed to change your life in a way that's meaningful and let's just say beneficial to your future. <clears throat> that's good shit, man. That's good shit. Congratulations. What the hell is this? <laughs> wow. I like it. Let's take a shot here. Oh my god, the night sky is so nice. Ah. Honestly, the night sky is probably a nicer backdrop. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I, I wanted to take a screenshot, but I turned away at the last moment. Lost 54 kilograms since June 2019. Insane. Actually insane. What is this? Forge in the spirit. Materia creation. No, no, not yet. First this guy. Hey, what up? Nice motorbike. Oh, this is the guy. Look how he looks. Psh. Score. Who is Uplander? Come to tent ring of Mutamix bubbly pots. It's me. I brought Minfilia's dagger. Fighty tool drinks in airy self. What? Who the hell is this guy? When full of airy self, fighty tool changes to stony shine. Name of materia. I love this outfit, man. Can I get such an outfit? If materia join with other fighty tool, then big eyes. Fighty tool gains power of airy self. Shit, I get it. Psh, score. Mutamix is reckoning that Uplander is friend of Menphilia. Yeah. This guy's got a big droopy snooty. Yes, tongue flaps reach ears of Mutamix with fastness. Menphilia wants Uplander to see power of materia. Uplander brings fighty tool to Mutamix, yes?
Score. Fighty tool is unstrong as eating tool. Make good teachy show of power of materia. Is he whispering? The materia master. Now eyes of uplander point at fighty tool, yes? Psh, score. Materia, join with fighty tool. Whoa! GG, man. Fighty tool gains power of materia. Fighty tool reborn here. Uplander take fighty tool to Minfilia. Materia, strictly speaking, is kind of crystal. It's created by drawing out the etheric constitutes from a piece of equipment, then crystallizing them. Not just any old equipment will serve, mind you. You have to have sufficient spirit bound. That being a measure of how fully an item is imbued with its owner's spirit. Okay. When you attach a piece of materia to gear, you imbue the host item with its power. That's how Mutamix turned that dagger of yours from summit as would have struggled to cut stake into a weapon worth wielding. Psst, stock. Uplander wishes to be joiner of materia. The Uplander best full brain case with knowings of crafty making. My brain case, man? Nice. With knowings of crafty making, Uplander can become joiner of materia. If Uplander wants brain case to rattle with knowings of materia, Uplander best trade tongue flaps with learny ones of Mutamix. Okay, the other guy's here. Gotcha. It's about the same as Wild Gem slots. I have a brain case? Yeah, it's right here, man. I mean, it's a brain case, sure. Whether or not it houses much of a brain, who's to say? I love this Chocobo so much. Okay. What would you say if I told you that inanimate objects possess a soul? They can. Believe it or not, although the soul in question is not their own, but that of their owner. Through faithful service, the arms and armor that we use come to hold our spiritual energies. Thus, do we form a spirit bond with them. The spiritual energy can be drawn out and conver converted into materia. A special kind of crystal that can be attached to gear to enhance its properties. Why, when I see people dismount, do they always have a chocobo at their side? But they weren't mounted on a chocobo, so I don't quite understand it. I'm well versed in the ways of material extraction. If you wish to learn more about the process, I'd gladly teach you. Are you ready to commence your learning? Good. Uh, as you will have gathered by now, material is crystallized form of one's spiritual energy. As this energy is derived from individual psyche, a volatile beast at the best of times, a degree of variance is to be expected in its production. In practice, this means that you won't know the exact properties of a stone until you cradle it in your hand. Now, Materia won't grant you much of anything on its own. Uh, its power must be tapped, see? And this is achieved by melding it to gear. Know, though, that it takes the deft hands of a craftsman to meld Materia. You can always seek others to attach Materia on your behalf, but if you'd rather do it sooner yourself, I recommend you speak to Fobamas. For oh, if Hobas. Melding is her field of expertise. We should remove materia from an item, highlight its icon, and select retrieve materia. There's a chance the materia will be salvaged. Dark matter, materia extraction. You can now extract materia. Materia extracted from one piece of gear can be affixed to another, improving its attributes. To extract materia from an item, you must have first created a spirit bond with it. Okay. By using the piece repeatedly in battle, crafting or gathering. Uh, once the outer spirit bond reaches 100%, you'll be able to extract materia from the list of available subcommands. Once material is extracted to an item, its spirit bond reduced to 1%. Affixing material to an item uh, can be done by discipline of the hand with proper training, or by speaking to materia melder NPCs. Should you wish to remove materia, you may do so by highlighting it and selecting retrieve materia. Chocobos are summonable combat pets in addition to mounts. Oh, like a hunter pet? That's why they have talent trees. Oh, Frostbite. They were cool. Thank you, man. They're cool in this game. Nice. But can I use the same Chocobo that fights for me as a mount? 
or they're just the plain yellow ones that you use as uh, fighting companions. I see this as a person of culture and a member of the Order of Twin Adders. Who, who is the person of culture? <coughs> hey, j 4 Gmo, good to see you. Retrieve material is one of the best things to add to this game. Do you see the dots for your armory beside the inventory dots? You'll see some are white. Those are 100% spirit bonded. Can extract materia. Wait, so can I extract materia from any gear here? Fonsineus, what up? Thanks for following. For any of this gear. My spirit bond's 100 on most of this stuff here. So I can extract, but they don't have any materia on them. Well, how does that work? Wait, let's test it on a shitty item that I got here. Once material has been extracted from an item, it's spirit bomb reduced to 1%. Proceed. Level of an item also plays a role in who can or cannot enhance the gear. Requiring higher level crafters as the level of the item increases. If you lack the ability to meld your items... Uh, meld your material to an item, you may enlist the aid of another player or speak to a material melder NPC. Another option is to find a similar piece of armor with material already attached. Markets are a perfect place to um, find these items. Another option is to find an, another PC to meld the material with you, uh, for you. One way to do this is via the player search feature. Once you've found a PC capable of doing it and terms have been agreed upon, uh, target the player and select request meld from sub commands. Don't extract your brand new gear. Items break down to materia if they're 100% spirit bound. That's how you make materia. Well, this one didn't do it. I did this item still here. But I don't know what I actually extracted from it. It doesn't remove the gear anymore. Okay, okay. They don't. It doesn't break down anymore. That's cool. Extract materials. Pull in and out the aether from it. And creating a piece of materia in exchange for resetting the spirit bond down to one. It doesn't destroy the item anymore. But what does it give you? Where's the materia? Where's the actual item then? Where's my materia? Where does it put it? Is it here? There we go. Tenacity plus two. That's awesome for tanking. Okay. That's sick. I see KJX, thanks for following the channel, man. I appreciate it. Fix my inventory? That's great, what are you talking about? Uh, what does that button do? Oh, key items, okay. I'm glad that they've changed that then, that's cool. Let's do the rest of this quest quickly. Wait, what? Was that the whole quest? Oh shit, okay. Oh, this one's locked. Oh my god, what? Oh, oh, it's a claw. Oh, okay, okay. It's a crafting quest. Okay, I was about to say that makes no sense. Let's craft in. Oh, make it so it's one big panel. Well, I don't mind the way it is. This is beautiful. Okay, so we did it. We actually did it. I, I mean, now, what? I can now put this in a weapon of mine? What does Link do? Anything with a slot? I mean... The material Melda has to do it for me? Yeah, yeah, okay. Of course. They just said that to me like a hundred times. time
I want to unlock this dungeon and try it out. Then we'll do the main quest again. I like this music, it's good. Achievements, current area. Hmm. <laughs> Can I ask Saf to get off his lazy bum and make you coffee, please? Saf, come on, man. Do her solid and make some coffee. I make coffee for my wife every single evening of my life before I start a stream. I make myself a cup, I make her a cup. She doesn't even ask, I just make it for her. I just make it. I realize you are not married yet, but you know, it helps. <laughs> You're married though, that's part of the your enslaved ma marriage contract. <laughs> Shit. Absolute what the hell? What did you do to this poor bird? That's a beautiful hat. Oh my god. It's- <laughs> You're a wizard! Chocobo? <laughs> hey, what up? Uh, so wait, hold on. I'm- I'm sorry. You're gonna have to remind me who this is. Which one of you guys is this again? I'm Ian. Saber, it's you. Hey, what up, Saber? Okay. Uh, who wants to come with for the dungeon? I assume because you're here, you might want to do it. If it's the great halls of Halatali you seek, you seek no further, friend. Permit me to tell you something of this place. The name comes from an ancient tongue. Halatali meaning the land of many shadows. It was here that our distant ancestors first settled and... Bah. You didn't come all this way for a history lesson. Shh. Listen. Do you hear the growls and howls? Do you not feel how they shake the very earth beneath you? Those sounds are not the work of the wind, my friend. Nor that rumbling, the doing of any shadows. Those are the calls of Halatali. For now, uh, the beasts once kept the Colosseum uh, lurk here. Oh, kept in the Colosseum. Okay. And they are no gentle beasts broken by the hand of man, no. There are those within that even the might of the immortal flames cannot tame. From the look of you, you must be Lumen. Aye. I received word from Nedric that you might be along. By his recommendation, I grant you leave to enter freely. I pray only that you're able to find your way out. Okay. Isn't making coffee relatively simple? It's relatively simple, but it's it's more it's it's more the commitment, it's the idea, it's just the thought, you know? The idea of someone making coffee for you. Black Mage Chocobo? Yeah, it's pretty... Oh, holy shit, that's scary. What the hell did you do to this thing now? What? <laughs> Cordelia? That's beautiful. Can you name your Chocobo? Oh my god, I can name my Chocobo. I think I need to call mine Noodle. Behemoth Bardin. It looks like a behemoth, you're right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, Seth, it's a machine that you need to use. You don't know how to use it. Seth, come on, man. Shit. <gasps> Name it, color it, dress it up in a bunch of gear. I want a chocobo so bad right now. Oh my god, where's my chocky at? Oh, I'll call it Noodle and I'll love it forever. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay, I'm making a party. I don't, I don't know if uh, if Saber wants to come with, but I'm inviting anyway. Uh, if anyone else wants to come, what you named your chocobo KFC? That is a cruel thing to do. But okay. I don't know why I want to call it Noodle, though. Thanks, Delta. I don't know why. But noodle's just... It's cute. Noodle or Snips? <laughs> Those are both nicknames that I give Nero, by the way. My dog. Those are two of his nicknames. I love them a lot. You named one of your Chocobos Cup Noodle? That's also cute. That's very cute. Okay. <clears throat> if anyone else wants to come with, uh, shout at me right now, and I will invite you. I don't see if there are any whispers. I don't think so, now. What's that sound? Schrodinger's bunny. I can DPS. Sure. There we go. 
I want to set up a window for whispers, but I don't know how. I'll do it later. I'm not going to do it now. Next quest will be his first trial, then he can get the Grand Company and Chocobos. I'm so excited. But first he's doing Halatali. Well, Halatali is great. Oh my god, that's disgusting. I need to get a Helene to play this game, because, like, the fact that they are disgusting mounts like this, it's just great. That's great. Actually, don't remember your Chocobo's name. <laughs> you called yours Charlie? After your late cat. Oh, Charlie Bubbles. That's such a nice thing to do. How would I know? You've not... I've not been... Dude, that doesn't matter. I just know instinctively. This is such a terrifying horse. But it's a fine steed, nonetheless. Okay, one more space if you guys want. Or I'll queue up in one minute. Yeah, I can blow chat. Oh, I see. Okay. I'll set it up later. I'm not, in, I'm not in a hurry. It's not a horse? Don't lie. You can rename your truck about? Yeah, Frostbite. Apparently you can. Saf will come? Okay. Wait, who's gonna heal? Do we have a healer? Oh, we have got a healer. Okay, cool. Got it, got it, got it. Sorry, I'm, I'm not very good at this, guys. You gotta chill. Friends list. I'll invite the Fleur. Here we go. Euless Show. Man, that's actually an awesome name. Just give him a moment. He's making your coffee. <laughs> that's perfect. Cool, cool. I'll kill an Earth Sprite while I wait. <clears throat> I'm so glad he decided to do that. Oh, I need to put my tank and stuff on. Hold on. There you go. I've actually not slain a Tuco before. What does light party mean? Whoa, that's sick. That looked cool. Four players. Full party is eight. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, light as in light. Okay. I mean, I mean, okay, wait, no. This still doesn't make sense to me. Light party is half a party. Okay, I guess it does make sense. So light as in not heavy. <laughs> Got it. Not light as in, you know, uh, luminescent glowing. Got it. Full parties for raids. Okay. I love that raids are eight people. That's sick. Diet party. Life party. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, fat party. That should be eight players. That's a fat party, guys. Shit. They mean business. But I mean, that would probably end up being pH fat instead of regular fat. If you know what I'm saying. There's 24 men as well. That's not, that's surely not a party. That's getting a little too much for a party. A little raucous, maybe. Just say when you're ready to go, Saf. Gotta email Squeenix and demand fat parties. Yeah, man. Exactly. Gotta get, gotta get them on that. Fan service, please. I like that it's three full parties that uh, that that work independently from one another. I like I like the idea of that. Can't earn XP in, in fat parties either. Oh, that's probably for the best. Out of curiosity, I know it's not soon, and I know it's not something that people should even be worrying about right now. But like, when do you guys think we'll see another expansion for this game? Fat parties aren't a thing. Please, man. They are now. Next year? That's what you reckon? Have they said anything about it? Oh, is Sap back? Okay, he's back. Every two years or so? Oh. Okay, that's cool. Okay, let's do this. Yes, yes, yes. This time it might take a bit longer. Yes, I mean, I, I imagine that is the case. One of the party members does not meet the requirements. What does that mean? Shit, is it me? Oh my god. Wait. No, it's level 20. Requirements? 
I can't see what their classes are. Oh, Saf's a crafter. Okay, okay, cool. Hey, James, what up? How go the misadventures of Lumen Lumi? Pretty good. I'm having a great time. We arrived at what's called the Waken Sands. We joined the Order of the Scion Wavers. And we started working on that part of the story quest. And it's been interesting. Other than that, we are about to reach level 25, which is sick. And apparently, we're going to soon get our Chocobo. And the dungeons have been awesome. Yeah, yeah, the dungeons have been so fun. Oh, my God. Craft some DPS, please. Yeah, come on, Saf. Jeez. <laughs> Saf can basically, like, I can strike, 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 slash, stab, repeat. And then what we can do is I can quickly throw the sword back to him. He can sharpen it. And, and then he can throw it back to me and I can keep fighting again. That's what he can do as a crafter. He can take my shield. He can buff it quickly. Give it a good shine and then throw it back to me. Tell Saf my coffee is lovely. Saf, the coffee is apparently lovely. Thank you so much, Saf. I appreciate that on behalf of Gemma. Here we go. Commence. Halatali awaits. Oh, the Hollow Knight addict is here. You been playing Hollow Knight again recently, James, or what's up? You think they could do cool stuff? With the crafters and gatherers in raids? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm watching the cinematic quickly. Oh, dude, I like the lighting in here. Cool. So the previous one we did, the lighting was like very green and blue and cold. And in here it's very warm. Hmm. Look at that mischievous little imp over there. Nice. Okay, I think I'm doing better than 90% of tanks already by just remembering to equip my uh, tank stance. Heckler in. <clears throat> I wouldn't have it any other way, man. Okay, I, must, I must get in the habit of turning them around. This is some massive armor. Holy shit. Cool. Back on all night trying to beat all the bosses without getting hit. Oh my god, dude. I don't even want to know about that. I really don't even want to know about that. Doctor! I can probably pull that group over there quickly as well. People get down leveled for dungeons? Yeah, there's a level sync system. It's kind of cool. It works well. Same for fates. As far as I've seen, Artful. <laughs> Dad Lobo, what's up, man? You'd call me on my shit. Oh my god. But as a tank with over 5k hours in the game, yeah, you're already doing better than 90% of us. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Wait, 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 wait. Shoo, 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 shoo. Hold on, pull these guys. I can't leave these guys unpulled. We 100% in here, guys. I, I believe so, man. And um, I, I think that it's it's like even in World of Warcraft, even in World of Warcraft, there's a uh, there's like there's this, there's, there's there's just this understanding that if you're a tank and you're in tank spec, and I know I know it doesn't always apply. Like in, in recent years, they've simplified things, but it used to be like that. If you're in tank spec and you've got a sword and a shield or whatever or defensive gear equipped, that really makes you better than like 80% of the other tanks. So <laughs> so yeah. It's like, I, get, I just assumed it would be the same. Sabermar, you only have 44 hours in the character, but it's one of the 10 alts. One you don't play much. Well, it's nice that you get to spend a bit of time with one of those characters then. Shame, it's a poor little Vierskant. You know, every now and then you gotta, you gotta throw it a bone, you know? What is a Vierskant? A poor little orphan character. I don't think that's the right translation. Uh, that's not the right translation. In Afrikaans, you say Vieskant uh, uh, when someone's been neglected. You call them a Vieskant. <clears throat> oh, you have them all on different data centers? Sabermau, wow. You like a you like a social butterfly. 
in uh, Final Fantasy. I can dig on that. That's kind of cool. So you have lots of friends on different data centers. Uh, you have lots of reasons to play different characters. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Shadow Tempo, what up? Hey. Hello. Hi to you. How's your day going? How you doing? Before Shadowbringers, tanks regularly swap between tank and attack stances. Well, okay. I will say that it's kind of cool if they actually allow you to, to like, you know, to bounce between stances and, and, and mess around with that if you have the ability to do so. What server am I on? I'm on Shiva on the Light Data Center EU. I think it's nice if they give you some freedom with stuff like that. Uh, but obviously not to the detriment of those in your party. You should only be able to do it if it's like a, a custom-made party or if you know what you're doing. I don't know. Wait, is that a... is that a boss? Fireman. I don't see any mechanics yet, so... Wait, it's got a lot lighter in here. Something's happening. I don't know what to do. Saf is running over there. Oh, you can handle it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, did this forge light up? It's coming after me. Okay, you can handle it. You can handle it. I just want to make sure I know what I'm doing. Well, I could ignore the ads. You can heal through it. Yeah, but I, like, okay, so I, I know that you guys are highly capable, but as someone who just started out playing tank, I feel like it's very important that I actually pay attention to the mechanics. Hey, what's up, Snoke? What's this dungeon? Halatali? It's called Halatali. I love the name, by the way. So I'm, I'm paying attention to the mechanics. I'm not doing them because Saf seems to be handling it, but I am paying attention to them. Just so that I know that I... I could potentially tank that stuff if the party wasn't able to themselves. So you're supposed to stop the flames from getting to the, to the bonfire, right? That's an optional one you skipped? Yeah, that's an optional one. See, there, there are some reaching the flame here. The early dungeons have a lot of DPS checks, <laughs> really. Okay. Well, they seem to be doing alright. There you go. Oh, dude, it's been cleansed. Nice. Treasure coffer, awesome. What do we do here? Ethereal flow? What does this give us? Oh shit. Ah, it's not so good. I'll greed on it. Sticking your tank nose in the ad, <laughs> yeah, in the ad business. Well, I feel like it's important. Did they teleport? Oh, shit, cool. Awesome. I just, I saw them and then I didn't see them anymore. And it's green. Cool. I want, I, I want so badly for the shield lob to bounce to more than one person. That would be like the ideal for me. If it could bounce just to two people, that would be amazing. This isn't wow. I know it isn't wow. Paladin tank, don't laugh at me. It's what I want. It's a range attack, not CC. I know, I know. But in wow, your Avenger shield bounces to more than one target, so you can taunt. Th you can not taunt them, but you can get aggro on more than one at the same time. I 
I'm on the uh, light data center EU. It will just make things easier, man. Oh god, that did a lot of damage. Wow! Okay. Five winches. You can pull all five to open the next door. They spawn, spawn a bomb. Avoid it. Yeah. Okay. And we can check the treasure chests along the way. Yay. Man, I want treasure chests. Avenger shield dazes? Yeah, I mean, I know that. I'm just saying, like, I would. I just want to be able to pull two mobs at once with the shield. Because then you got your sweet spot. You got one and two for the shield, and then three or more you use AoE. That's what I'm saying. run in and do your ballerina twirl I know it looks really cool doesn't it like it, it just the effect is so nice I know I know that's how I'm meant to be doing it I get it but like I, I like shield throw because it does a chunk of damage and it puts that guaranteed uh, it puts that guaranteed oh shit aggro on the mob so that no one will steal it from you you know You like the combo twill? What's the combo twill? You mean when you do your 1-2 combo? You meant to use your main AoE in the center of them? Yeah, yeah, I get that. Like I say, I get that. Like that. And you can also use this guy to boost your damage, right? So you can do more AoE. Totally clips combos into another AoE. Oh! Cool. Okay. I can't wait, man. Totally clips is great. Oh, wow. Damn, it must look so cool. These are, these are pretty big snakes, man. Animation's pretty spicy. Shit, man. I'm all about spicy animations. Nice. Here's the chain winch. Thank you. Oh, treasure. Someone gave it a big hug. <laughs> Saber gave it a big hug. Nice. What did that give us, by the way? A vial of ether. Okay. Gotcha. Tab targeting seems to work quite well. I'm glad. Oh, there's a boss over there. Oh. Wait, is there something this way? Here's something up here. Hold on. Gotta check, check it out. Oh, this must be for later. Or something. Sorry, I'm just exploring, dudes. Ah, see, it was a shortcut anyway. No worries, mates. Hall of Secutoris. Hey, Mugendai. Try not to spin the mobs very much. Yeah, yeah, um, the, the characters that are position-based will have a hard time staying behind them then. That's right, that's right. Okay, Thunderclap. Guiver. Guiver. Boom! Can I aim it this way and I'll stand still? I guess I get bored standing still. <laughs> That's basically what happens. Uh, invulnerable. Can you get out of the water? Looks like I might need to get out of the water.
Oh, he's not vulnerable anymore. Here we go. Okay. Oh, did someone interrupt that? Well done. That was really quick. I think I missed it. There we go. They come at exactly the right speed, but I can shield lob them each one at a time. I'm not sure who's casting that thunder. Like, I stand in it every time. But I think it's that guy back there, the lizard. Hey, Winter God, thanks for following the channel, man. I'll check chat in just a moment, guys. Let me just finish the boss fight. Two chests. Ooh, there's a hat. Doctore's hat. Padded cotton trousers. Oh, that's an upgrade. Holy shit, finally. But they cotton? Strength, vitality, and skill speed? Let's compare it quickly. That can't be an upgrade. Uh, I don't know, man. Determination sounds better. Is it actually an upgrade, do you guys think? This man is bad at water. That's me, man. Tank on the ramp. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So why do I keep running back there then? Plus five defense is an upgrade. Yeah, I guess. Why is your enemy list so tucked away? You have yours in the middle for when you lose aggro. I just left everything in the default positions. What else did I miss? If I miss something, by the way, just type it more than once. It's fine. I do not see that as spam. I'll just, I'll take this thing, guys. This place looks great. Strength's greater than all stats. Cool. Hikatari Tun. What up? Thanks for following the channel. Welcome. Uh, so I've got some new gear. Let's see what it looks like. I'm finally gonna look stupid, I think. It's gonna, it's gonna ruin my equipment now. What? <laughs> what is this crap? Hello? Why can't I hide the helmet? Oh no. Why do I look so stupid now? What happened? Oh shit. You can? No, I can't. It's, it's, it display head It's here. It's not working. It's helm is bolted on. Oh shit. Oh, it doesn't have a headpiece equipped. I see. Yeah, optimism, I think, like... Oh, I think it's part of the gear. <clears throat> Shit, well that ruins things. I might have to I might have to use that just for a little bit because it kinda looks oof. That kinda it kinda looks a little oof. It's not great looking now. I mean I look like a real Dark Souls knight, but I mean I mean Wait, did I change my legs as well? Oh I did, yeah. Glamour it away? Yeah, I guess I can glamour it. That's probably the best thing to do. Dark Sails Knight with a mouse tail. It's a cat tail. Please, man. The priority as Paladin is comfy speed tier. Okay, so that's where I feel comfortable, basically. And then crit. What is DH? Then determination, SKS, and then tenacity. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't actually know what DH is. Direct hit. Okay, okay, okay. There you go, there you go. Thanks, Fuzzy Life. Thanks, Fuzzy Life. Let me pull the rest of these guys. Oh, is that a boss? Oh, shit. Got him. I'll, I'll face them this way. Watch out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's for end game, but for leveling, whatever is the highest is probably best. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Is 
Oh, Lillian's not happy with nappy change. Three potions. I love that they automatically do the treasure and just give it automatically to everyone that, uh, well, to anyone that wins it. Just use whatever has the basic, highest basic stats until I hit 50. Gotcha. That's fine. That's fine. Map in the realm. Halatali. I explored everywhere. Cool. Oh, cool dude. Here we go. Final boss. Saf doesn't like it when you change his nappy. Understandably. Hey, my girl. It's not time yet. Hello. Oh, man. Look at this guy. I suppose he's ready for a beating. Tangata. Let's go. It's Gemma? <laughs> uh, funny, but not funny. Shame. I'm sorry, Gemma. I'm sorry that you have to live with it. Boss goes invulnerable a couple of times and drops a few fire... Oh, crap. Fire fields at his feet. Uh, just step out of them and deal with fire adds. Okay. Invulnerable. Fire adds. Gotcha. Okay, I see. I see. That's kind of cool, man. It looks nice. Oh, he's back. Cool. Okay. I'll tank him over here. It's fine. Looks like you guys can deal with the adds. Yeah. They look like they're like, pretty easy and all quick to deal with. I think I interrupted that. Probably zoom out. I suppose using this list on the left here that uh, James said I should use is probably for the best. He's about to light up the floor again, right? Is he about to light up the floor? No, not really. I thought he was going to light up the floor. Okay. What is shift tab target? I know tab target, but... Taya Sakura, what up? He doesn't do it again? Thanks. Oh my god, I look so terrible. I need to do something about that. I gotta do something about that. A reverse order of tab. I had no idea. Wow. Okay. Same as WoW. I've never done that in WoW before. Oh my god, it's a bow. Don't show me... Don't show me bows, man. Oh, it's a pretty cool looking bow. Make me jealous. Cool. Grat Saf, that's probably good for you, eh? Thank you, that dungeon was really fun. Uh, my favorite so far is probably still the Tam Tara Deepcroft. But, yeah, this was fun. This was cool. Ooh, man, the rain again. Dude. I'll say it again. This game does rain right. What is that? What is that? Is that a pod? Nah, man. That's not going to get me. That's not... I'm actually... I'm all about the plate gear in this game. Okay, I'm going to leave the party, guys. Thank you so much for joining, as always. Uh, I'm going to carry on to the main quest. I'm going to also see if I can do something about glamour in my armor. Because right now... Let's just say it's not sitting well with me. The game does a lot of things right, it seems like it. You're on Odin, same data center, so if I need anything crafted, let you know. Thank you so much, Sakura. Thank you. Uh, anything but this kind of armor. Because <laughs> this shit, I don't know, man. I I, I like the, the armor, but the, the headpiece just, oof, it ruins it for me, man. So I'm going to see about trying to go to my, to my inn room and see if I can do some... Uh, Transmogrifying. Oh, glamorine, sorry. Glamorine. Chippy Monk? 
You're gonna change the armor so quick? Why waste the guilt? Well, I don't know. I'm, I just want my character to look cool, man. I'm all about how it looks. Oh, dude, Teraxa, that's way better. Whatever you just linked there, that one's way better. Well, that's way nicer. You learn glamour early as a tank, because a lot of 20 to 50 armor is tin can. Okay, well, I don't want that. Glamour is the true end game? Yeah, yeah, so I've heard. Uh, so where's the innkeeper? Here. Does it cost gil? Like, how much does it cost? I think that it's... I think it's cheap. I don't know, obviously, for sure, but... Whoa, this is an interesting window. Okay, so how do we do that? There are no glamours. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I have... I'm sorry. I have no idea how to do this. So... Gear with oh my god, I need to repair my gear. Okay. If you come across a piece of gear whose design tickles your fancy, you may be able to store it in a glamour dresser where it'll be instantly transformed into a glamour. This can, can be confirmed via the item's help window. Once stored in the glamour dresser, images of the gear can be applied to glamour plates, then via uh, equipped via plates at your, character, at your leisure. Note, however, that gear stored in the glamour dresser can not be equipped until removed from the glamour dresser. Stored in the glamour dresser cannot be equipped until removed from the glamour dresser. Well, I don't know what that means exactly, but I need to go repair quickly. Oh, oh, can I use it? I don't need to go to the armory for a single. I can use the stuff in my inventory. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just go to uh, this repair vendor over here. Wait, is there? There. Right over here. Just repairing it all in case I need it. There's that beautiful music again. Okay, wait, so I don't need to do this. Hold on. So I want to do it like this. Right click and cast glamour. Now do I pick the piece I want? What if I want that one? You shouldn't put your brand new Curus in the Glamour Dresser. Okay, okay. Why not? Oh, appearance is on the right side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then you want to, then the one you want it to look like. Gotcha. No, no. No, no. No, no. Where's the one that Saf gave me? No, 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 no. Why can't I put the one that Saf gave me on here? Uh, it was a... I want to put this one on. I'll show you. Iron, is it iron scale mail? Or is that what I'm wearing right now? Oh, 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 wait. I'm confused. Stop. Oh, that's the one. I want that one. Iron scale mail. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. And this one is called the heavy iron armor. Got it, got it, got it. I just want to test the glamour system out, man. I might buy it, be in this armor for a long time, so we don't know. So we're going to pick uh, that one. Cost glamour. Heavy iron armor. We want to put it on the iron scale mail. Put the visual on there. Cost. Wait, return. Is that the one? Try on. There we go. Oh, holy crap. I'm home. There you go. We win. Whew. That's great, dude. That's much better. That was close. That shit was close. 
Wow. We're looking like ourselves again. Thank you so much, guys. Especially for your patience. Is that my butt sticking out? Do I have a hairy butt or is that cloth? It's cloth. It's cloth. I kind of like it, I guess. I don't have a hairy butt. Good. Good, good. I mean, it's fine. I wouldn't mind if I had a hairy butt. Not going to get judgy about butts that are hairy. It just would have been a little unexpected, is all. Okay, main story quest. Here we go. I'm a cat girl. I know. Did I just see someone called Giselle? No, that's Geisel Burdus. It's not Giselle. Geisel Burdus. Sometimes full Peligia. A Peligia is full armored. Top. Then like slippers and leggings on the bottom. <laughs> what? Like sets? Really? It's a confusing system. Number one thing you want them to change. You love everything else, but glamour can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Specifically storage. Yeah, yeah. Elisa Spielverliebt. Is that play for love? Spiel, Spielverliebt? Or is that Spiel, uh, is that mirror? Or is that play? Probably have taken your 25 glad quest while you're in Ulda. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Say no more. I'm not above uh, teleporting straight back to pick it up. You're right. I, did, I thought it was level 30. Let's go. I don't mind. I don't mind. It's a waste, but we haven't gotten... We haven't even... We're not halfway yet, so it's still okay to do it. Thank you for the reminder. I almost missed it. At least I don't have to deal with the 1.0 crafting system. Yeah. That's terrifying. That's... That's really cool and really terrifying. That armor is insane. It's kind of nice, too. Oh my god, look at this cool cucumber. That's a samurai for sure, right? Okay, gladiator. I know where that is. Let's get the weather forecast first, though. Uh, we're going to... Central. Rain into clouds. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay, good shit, good shit. Good shit. So it's clearing up later today. That's what I'm talking about. Paladin get a cool set at 45. Is it? Okay. I become a paladin, is it 30 or 40? I can't remember. Oh, I could have used the eighth in it. Yeah, but it's like, I, I like, I, I said before, I like taking the scenic route, uh, just especially here at the start of the game, because I want to try and just get to know the areas, especially the city, my home, you know? You guys are telling him to equip job, stone, and job quests. What are those, Chippy Monk? Hey, weather conditions change at 12 a.m., 8 a.m., and 4 p.m. Eorzean time. That's really cool. On holy ground. Whoa! Whoa! I'm getting a tower shield. Okay. This, this sounds important. Dude, I'm so ready. Let's go. Ah, Lumen, I must apologize for my earlier behavior. As first sword, my duty is not only to foster your growth as a gladiator, but also protect you from the dangers you are not ready to face. I did not know that Leovold had become leader of the Alacran. Had he chosen to bear his steel at us, many and uh, many and more of us would not have returned alive. I need to know why he's turned to a life of crime. And so I've ordered my best men to scour Thanaland for any trace of his whereabouts. Unfortunately, one of them has disappeared. I have a strong suspicion that he has been taken prisoner by the Alacran, or worse. If there's any open saving, we must act quickly. I would have you search for our missing comrade. Last report started the, stated that he was tracking the Alacran near the Hammers in Western Thanalan. Oh my god, I know exactly where that is. I've been far too reckless in recent days. Let too many good gladiators come to harm. Please, Lumen, find our missing comrade and bring him home. You send in another gladiator into harm's way right now. My god. My god.
So there's a weather forecast in each city at certain events and fish come out at specific weather. I love that they implemented the weather system and it actually means something. But it's just me that he sent, they send into harm's way. I'm important too, of course. What is the name of the shield every tank had from Black Temple? Yeah, yeah, Bulwark of Azinoth. That's in Hearthstone now as well. I'm a special gladiator. Damn straight. The spiked car door. <laughs> oh, that's the best description. That's exactly what it is. Yes. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> oh, cute man. Is that a piggy? Oh, is that that terrifying mount with a creepy smile? I actually can't tell. Matthias, where's your armor, man? Why are you naked? Oh, he's crafting. Carry on, man. You do you. It's a sheep. Oh, oh, oh okay. I saw the sheep one. Sure, sure. Okay. Check your hunting log. Oh, what can I check in my hunting log? Wait, what? In the clutch? How have I not killed those guys? Oh, that's not here. Okay. Veteran Gladiator. What up, man? That's my shield that you're wearing. Oh, it's a trap, sister! A trio of assassins. Why are they always pugilists? Why are they always pugilists? Are they gonna fight me one at a time? How courteous. I should probably DPS them down one at a time. There you go. I didn't realize that the fugitive skilled was the uh, hive of scum and villainy that it is. I didn't, I, like, what? <laughs> Every single time it's pugilists, man. Gotcha. Oh. Hey, man. That's some fine swordsmanship, Lumen. Miller, <laughs> the first sword, certainly knows how to pick him. <sighs> Even after all these years, I can't bring myself to call her that. See, I still remember when her father first brought her to the guild, the wee lass who cried at the sight of naked steel. But look at her now. You'd swear she was born with a blade in her hand. Not like she had much of a choice but to rise to the occasion. What with all the trouble Aldous got into seven years ago? Selfish bastard. He should have never... Uh, but enough of my rambling. I'll make my way back to Ulda after a short rest. You go on ahead and tell Miller that I'm fine. Go on ahead? Wait, she's here? Oh, ahead to Miller. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I hear you, man. Yeah, I'm not sure why he bolted straight into his... Maybe he's, maybe he's uh, badly injured and he's having his life flash before his very eyes while I'm standing there in front of him and he just couldn't help but recount it to me. And that's fine, I get it. I love that touch of red on the armor. That, 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 that little bit of red just to spice things up. I think that's beautifully done. Like this is... Oh my god, there's some more down here. Whoever made this armor did a great job. Very cool, man. And that's a tank, huh? Is this a gun blade or is it a mac? Oh, it might be a mechanist. Oh, it's a gun, a gun breaker. Right, there you go. Very cool. Favorites, the Lancer quest. We have to kite 12 wolves in a circle for 20 minutes. <laughs> what? Really? That sounds insane. Be glad they're pugilists. Fists don't work well against plate. True. Who's this guy? Huh. It's got a lot of fans, apparently.
Why would they send 12 of them after you at the same time? That sounds just like a bad idea. Punchy McPunchface, what a name. <laughs> yeah, man, people know how to pick them, huh? Lumen, thank the gods, you're alright. I heard about the ambush at the hammers, excellent work. You've been invaluable to the guild and I cannot thank you enough. In fact, I believe you need much needed rest. Uh, take some time for yourself and return when you've recuperated. Before you go, speak to Lulu... Lulu... Tzu. I believe she has a message for you. Lulu Tzu? Lulu Tzu! What up? Oh, Lumen, the very gladiator I was seeking. Lean, closer. For I would not have others hear my words. Elder sends his regards and requests you meet him at the Lich Yard in Eastern Thanalan. Naturally, I have not divulged this information to the First Sword. As you may have gathered from their previous interaction, she's still rather upset with him and would likely forbid any further association. Quite understandable, since he was clearly being groomed to become the next Guildmaster before that horrible scandal. Ugh. They would have made such a lovely couple. Um, <laughs> forgive me. This is hardly an appropriate topic of conversation. Anyway, you have my word that the First Sword won't hear anything about this rendezvous from me. I knew the quest wasn't over yet. Lulutsu, thank you so much. So, the graveyard, they say. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Camp Drybone. Is that the place? Yeah. Oh my god, that's where I just was. Wait, no, is it? Isn't this the abbey? Yeah, it is. This is where I buried that person. Lady Fell seemed to have a talent uh, for being secretaries. More often than not, it seems to be the case. What a beauty. What a beauty. Gemma McJemmingson. Nice. I'm going the wrong way. Shit balls. That's the way this way, yeah. Hello. Don't mind me. Don't mind me and my tail. Man, so if I wanted to be an aura, I'd also have a tail. Once again, I'd be stuck with a tail. If I wanted to get rid of the tail, I don't even know. Is that a Nimbus? Oh my god. Cool, man. That guy better be a pugilist. I just don't think he is, though. He's a bard. <laughs> you ain't no Goku. Aldous, what's up, man? Who's buried here? Stop being animal people. Can't help it, man. They're the ones that look cool. I'm here. I like a woman who keeps me waiting. <laughs> Nurtures the sense of anticipation. I didn't keep you waiting, you old shitbird. It's been seven years since Miller's father was laid to rest here. He was mean and stubborn. An old eld goat through and through, but gods, when he danced with sword in hand, it was pure poetry in motion. But that's right, there's no way I could know what it was like for her back then. Forced to replace her father under such terrible circumstances. Who the hell's this now? Oh my god, it's the scary lady who killed the people. And who might you be, another of Leovolt's lackeys? Yes, it is. It's the crazy one with the crazy eyes. It is! Zana. Master Veld's been most distressed since learning of your return. This is unacceptable. Your master does not deserve your loyalty, kitten. When you've outlived your usefulness, he'll dispose of you like so many others. Believe me, I speak from personal experience. Once again, lo and behold, it's a pugilist. Sadly, the Nimbus is no longer available, but you can get a golden one. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yellow, yellow golden. Good shit. Put on a shirt, dark cat lady. Say what you will, I will not be swayed. Why? Mm. She looks awfully determined to kill me, still. Not in the mood to play. Mind stopping her, Lumen? Sure. Whoa! God, I'm so quick! I mean, they do call me Quick Draw Lumen. For a reason. Look, I'm even facing her away from the, from the body. Does she... Let me check her... She's got her shirt on. What are you talking about? Yeah, 
Freedom movements, Lumen. What? It's not exactly high literature. Your interference is inexcusable. This ends now. No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Watch it, the kitten has claws. Sure. I'm alright, don't worry about it. Damn, she's attacking really fast. That was actually kind of close. Did I equip my new stuff? Yes. And then I re glammed my items back to the old stuff. You've gotten stronger. Good. I'm glad Miller has a woman like you to rely upon. Thank you. Wait, you've been here for months and you are literally the only person I've ever heard call you quick draw lumen. What? Please. You obviously always just miss when people call me that. Everyone calls me that. Did he stun her at all? Three times. Uh, she's her father's daughter, a leader of men, a true warrior, and an obstinate woman who lets her feelings cloud her judgment. I probably should have saved the stuns for later in the fight, which is why she needs to be surrounded by dependable people who will give her counsel, keep her temper in check. Now more than ever, stick by her. She needs you more than she knows. See? Saf does. There you go. Saf calls me quick draw lumen all the time. Thank you, Saf. She needs you, Aldous. I'll do what I can. I'm not going to put it. I'm not going to put that on him. Hey, quick draw lumen. Getting close to that paladin level. Wink. Thanks, modest god. Thank you so much. I knew there were people out there who called me that. I knew it, man. I knew I wasn't imagining it. She needs you, Aldous. I'm going to do it. I'm putting that on him. Oh! Oh! Haven't you listened to what I'm saying? She needs dependable people. In case you haven't noticed, I'm anything but. I'm only here because of unfinished business. When it's settled, there'll be no more reason left for me to stay. What about her? Isn't she a reason to stay? I owe it to old man to put an end to this. To give him peace in Thal's realm for making that bastard Leovald finally answer for his crimes. Remember what I said, Lumen. Now go. She's probably wondering where you are. You call him Swin from Starcroft Pulse and Tales of Lumen. Also a fine name. Hey, what up? I'm going to teleport back to town now, I think. I need to go back to Miller. I'm getting myself an upgrade. Ach achievements in current area. Successfully complete fate attack on high bridge. Uh, act 3. The strongest possible rating. Yeah, we're not going to do that. So, return. Quick Pepega Lumen. Also, alright. There's that nice cloud mount, man. That's great. That's great. And there's that nice music. Dude. What was that outfit? What was that outfit I spied upon that lady? She's gone. Okay. That is a cute little fox. And she's back. And she is back. Very nice. Okay. Let's continue. You making some new glamours now? Hope you like it. Oh. I probably will. Glamours are great. Oh, Lillian's a little bit early. Lillian, you're a little bit early. Okay, so we're going to hand this in. I think we're going to get an upgrade for our sword. I'm not 100% sure. What do their mounts and stuff on the mod station usually cost? Why are you staring at me like that, Lumen? Is something the matter? You're behaving rather oddly. While I'm afraid I have no news regarding Alacran's movements, I remain confident that we'll find them soon, though. So keep your blade sharp. Alright. Hmm. This is a downgrade. That's an upgrade. And that's an upgrade. I think I'll take the legs. Oh, holy crap. Maybe I won't take the legs. <laughs> oh, shit. 
That's terrible, man. Oh, no. Oh, it's got little wings on the ends there. Hey! Chill Phil, what's up? Am I enjoying the game? Absolutely, dude. It's so much fun. All of these look crap. Yeah, I know. They look terrible, but I have to choose one. This one's the biggest up... Wait, am I not wearing legs? Why does this say it's such a big upgrade? Oh, I see the defense. Okay, so take these. So is the sword an upgrade for me? I hope the sword's an upgrade too. Oh, it is, dude. Okay, I mean, we don't look terrible, but it looks kind of bad. Oh, there are legs and boots in one. Oh, okay, much like the chest pieces. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it. Chest pieces, there's chest and hat in one as well. So the new sword, let's see what it looks like. How do I unsheath my weapon? I already rebound Z, so it's not Z. That's a tiny little sword. It's got leather on the hilt. I like it though. It's kind of cool. Now Z doesn't work. I, I rebound it. Yeah. So I didn't equip it? Why well, I did. What do you mean? What new equipment? This equipment here. The legs are pretty thick. You're right. I didn't rebind it. I just didn't bind it at all. It's in movement. Thank you. I'll check it out quickly. Uh, Keybinds. Movement. There. It's a nice little knife, I guess. It's kind of okay. The legs aren't terrible. Spather, like a bigger gladius. Yeah, but I mean still. The sword and board I got two quests ago. No, I just got these right now. Look, their spirit bond is zero. I just got this and that. And the ones that I got before, two quests ago with a with a blue sword. The uh, the ones I got two quests ago was the blue this sword. This one. Exotion, rate your new glam when I arrive in Waking Sands. I'm going there right now. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, Waking Sands. At, oh, two-part quest. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. It, well, it was a long quest. Long quest. I just got those. Yeah. Indeed. Dude, I bet. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want a chocobo so badly. We're getting the chocobo tonight. We're getting the chocobo tonight. I'm playing Final Fantasy again tonight on the night stream. Uh, so, in about two hours from now, I'll start streaming again. And it's going to be more Final Fantasy. And it's going to be so good. Because we're going to get. I'm sure we're getting the chocobo then. Ooh. I can't wait for the chocobo, man. Can't wait for the chocobo. <laughs> Traxa? I hope so, man. Get some rest. Soul Crystal. What is this even? What is this even? Actually, I pro it's probably a spoiler. I mean, maybe it's not a spoiler, but... I think for my gear, some of it is a little low level. They're for jobs. Oh. Hey, Sakura, are you going to meet me at Wagon Sands too? Awesome. I'll see you there. Mog Station paid mounts come in tiers. Uh, there are three of them. There are single character mounts, 12 USD. Account wide mounts that work on every character you have, those are 24 USD. Then there are account wide multi seat mounts that are 29.99. Huh. Honestly, it's expensive, but it's reasonable, all things considered, and it's completely optional. So, yeah, I'm down with that. It's okay. I like black hair on a Mikote as well. Oh my god. 
<laughs> That's actually super badass. Holy shit. What is this? Is this your shoulder pad? That's your shoulder pad. Yeah, it is. Dude, look at the size of that sword. Oh my god. That's Inamax. Oh, hey. What up? What up? What up? What up? Okay, so your name's Tay Asakura. Got it. <clears throat> Listen, I was saying your name completely wrong. So, uh, I apologize. Whoa, whoa, what is this? What are you giving me? I'll take it. I'm not going to say no. Thank you so much. Actually, I like your name so much more now that I know. Uh, Teya Sakura. That's beautiful. I, I, wow. You're a beautiful lady. A mechanist. I see. What does the gun look like? Let me check. Dude. It's like a really gaudy, massive revolver. I like it. I like it. Oh, who's this? Oh, hey. Amien. Hello. Hello. Saber, it's nice. It's nice to see you. I like your... Dude, what is this? Is this your white mage? Ah, of course. I love that you can tell. I love that you can tell, Saber. I just love that you can tell. I love it. Oh, my God. It's Melina from uh, Mortal Kombat. What is that, a ninja? It's a monk. Oh, look at the hair, dude. Look at the multicolored hair as well. And now this one's a white mage too? Oh, it's a scholar. Dude, you can switch around so quickly and it, it confuses the heck out of me. I like turn my back and then I look back and they... Dude, wow, wow, wow. Hey, some to the game. What up? You done in the dungeon so you can say hi now? What up? One button swaps the whole set. I know, that's what's so crazy to me. That's what's so crazy to me. Look at this shit. Hey, that's the cards again. That's the... I saw those cards before. Astro. Okay. That is kind of cool. It looks kind of sick. I keep looking at your character and thinking that you have glowy eyes. Are you leveling? Cool, man. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's fun. Oh, is that a paladin? Hold on, let me see. Dude, look at that sword. Oh my god, that sword. That's pretty sick. Really cool. Tay, your character looks awesome. I like your hair a lot. And your hat. I like the hat too. Oh my god, that guy just flew through here so quickly on his chocobo. Oh, <laughs> oh no, this is too cute. This is too cute. I can't. What the hell? Why would they make something so cute? Look at him. That is such a cutie. I. Wow. What is it? A broader otter. Okay, man. Okay, that's pretty badass as well. That's a ninja. Gotcha. Okay. What do they use as weapons? Huh. Very nice. He wanted to buy... He wanted to have to buy you that plush in Japan. Uh, there was such a plush. Ooh, dual daggers. Who, who's the weeb now? <laughs> what is a nutkin on your shoulder? What does that mean? Cool, man. Guys, thank you for showing off here. I appreciate it, as always. Oddbot, what up? Thanks for following the channel. Tinktoriusden. Thanks for following the channel. Welcome, welcome. Hello, it's a little squirrel that you can beckon to make it hop in your shoulder. That's pretty cool. Are you trying to lure me outside? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to get my own uh, chocobo so I can... Well, go on adventures with him. I think it's going to be fun. But, uh, dudes, I think for now, we are going to be done. We are going to be finished. Oh, must I see if I can try the gear on? Hold on. I think it was, I think it was not an upgrade. Or was it? No, none of it. None of it can be equipped yet. 
Uh, so you gave me this one. Try on. Oh my god, that looks so cool. It's quite a huge downgrade, unfortunately. But it's level one. Oh, oh, is it a, it's a replica. Is it a transmog? It's for glamour. Oh shit, that's really cool. Oh. Whoa, it looks really nice. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Damn, that's... That's wow. Look at it. I wish I could make this window a bit bigger. Huh. Okay. Do both at the same time? I don't know how. Try on. And then try on. And then it removes the other one. Oh, I, I drag it over, maybe? No. Oh, here we go. No? Yeah, visor, no. <clears throat> Save, delete, outfit. Oh, okay, 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 here we go. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, dude, that is a really cool outfit. Thank you. That's really cool. I might have to put that on, I'll see. I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. It, it didn't look much like a paladin right now, but it is, it is definitely cooler than what I've got. I mean, that's a fact. It makes me look really cool. The head is so small though. Which head? My character's head or? Oh my god. Look at the size of this thing. Cute man. Little wormy. It's like the it's like the uh, wind serpents from WoW. <clears throat> really cool. Wait, so uh, that said, was there a headpiece as well? No. Okay. Yeah, it was just those two. That thing's tail is far too long. <laughs> I think it's really cool. I think it's nice that it's so long. But they're nice. The mounts are all very nice. Like, there are so many good mounts in this game. They're very creative with their mounts, honestly. But I already have two eye patches I could use as headpieces. True, true, true. I could use those. It wouldn't ruin it, that's a fact. What the hell? What is this? Dude. What are these mounts? What are these mounts? <laughs> Crazy. Okay. 